Yeah, we're live now. It's... So I just have to look at all the comments now. It's... Why is this going wrong? Because I can only see. Uh, so there's 14 people watching. And can I get Pete in here? No, because Pete's not getting involved. What is going on? There's no comments coming through either. What on earth is going on? I don't know, let me try something else. Hang on. Honestly, sorry. This is an absolute joke. Right. We'll get back to you. Right, any better? Oh, a couple of um, comments dripping through. Legend Can Lewis. see them as well, and yeah. Do you want to lose hello, yeah. Simon Roberts? I've only got three, four, four comments come through. That one, and that one. And James Millership. James Miller. I love James's question. James, keep them coming every day, by the way, fella. They are very good. I enjoy them. Uh, so we've got a mad bunny hi guys oh pete's in the chat he's not what's what's he saying pete's in the chat he says i'm here yeah. let me in <laughs> get in the back door son he's not there i've sent him the link and he's not he's not coming in oh honestly I don't know. Send in the key. <laughs> Honestly, this is yeah, normally yeah. works fine. Right, try again. Where is he? Honestly, can't get the stuff these days, really. Right, try again. Apparently, I'm lagging quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, what I, that's what I've um, noticed. Uh, where are we at? Back to here. There we go. No. No, there we go. Right. So Pete should be in. I sent him the link again. Oh, here we go. Where is he? I, Come on. Yeah, because I seem to be right. like third and still. <laughs> there he is. Oh, here we go. Where is he? Here he is. Yeah. Hello. Where you been? Good afternoon. <laughs> Here he is. Yeah. Hello. He said, oh, he said, Where you been? I've been watching you guys. The link you sent me, you just had me on a pause. Who is there? I don't know why it's lagging. Where you been? I, I, I blame the I blame the blame I blame the Bowman household. So the, uh, the lag's about eight seconds. I'm frozen. Yeah, I'm, I'm on fiber optic as Me well. Me too. I don't know why that is. It's his dodgy laptop. That's probably true. I'll go but in. you're on the iPad, aren't you, Paul? I'll go in slow motion. Uh, now I'm on the phone. All right, okay. I'm Fair on enough. the iPhone. Fair enough. Yeah, same as me. It's I'm only uh, Peter was on his... Uh, Paulie says you it says you're lagging quite it's, a bit. It's too. lagging on the iPad, so I can see what other people are. So uh, am I lagging? No, you're all right. It just seems to be Paul for we some reason. Lagging. I don't know why. Oh, James is getting high peak. Or not? And then Toby's here. You look like you're about to sneeze. Yeah, you're, 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 it's you're lagging fine. really badly. We can hear you, so that's the main thing, I guess. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, I love modern technology. It's so good. Isn't that weird. Why don't you have yours a big is... drop out and then give him another link? What are you on? Another link? I'm on 100, Maybe that'll be better. Right? Per second or minute. Yeah, hang on then. Let me um, tell you what, Paul. I'll take you out. 
And then do you want to try and rejoin? So if I take you that. Hey, James. Right. So then I shall copy that. Hey, Toby. There. Right. So if people can just bear with us, that will be great. Where are we here? I should have stuck to the. Uh, See, Kermit's ghost is doing his decorating and listening in. Oh, yeah. First question from good old James up in Ed Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Deep impact of Armageddon. Cool. That would be Armageddon for Armageddon. me. Yourself? So when that guy says, I, I'm blown out. I can feel you. I'm hugging you. Oh, God, I just want to puke. I don't know why there's a lag, though. I don't know. Is he coming back? <laughs> I, don't, I think that's it. I think we've, we've got 24 people waiting for the arrival of Paul. Oh, hang on. Here we go. 23 are watching. Big Paulie, come back to us. What's a stern looking face, isn't it? <laughs> I'm here. There we go. Is that any better? Hello. The wonders of technology. Hello. Oh, Hello. Oh. I'm hard bunnies, but I bet you better reboot your router. The thing is, though, Paul, oh. you did this the other day. Oh my god, and I'm you were still lagging. What? I don't know why. But honestly, you're here. That's fine. I'm sure it'll kick Hang up. Hang on. Sen sen Hi, guys, send me you... out again, and I'll try it on the iPad instead of the iPhone. Okay, no worries. Hang on then. Uh, I'll kick it out. Just use the same link. It should be all right. There, we thank you for the 24 people waiting for us. A few technical issues. <laughs> uh, not, not with us, though. Nah. Just, in, just the Apple iPad and iPhone. What's that tell you about Apple? Well, mine's mine's on the iPhone and I'm fine, so I don't see the problem there. Anyway, so we'll go for questions in hand. Steve Morris is but hi guys. Have any of you seen the film The Hunters from 1995 store on Christopher Lambert? Nope. No, nope. haven't seen it. Toby's put. How are you all? We're good, Toby. How are you? I'm on the day off. I drove up from Darlington, where I am here, to Whitley Bay. I dropped the two much kids off, or as I like to call them, arseholes. Uh, at my parents up at Whitley Bay, and I drove back, and I got myself and the wife a uh, as they create your own pizza, which are the best, and that's our tea tonight. So she's just got in from some exercise or whatever stuff. Well, I'm getting fat; she's getting thin. Uh, so she's got two hours to herself. So she's pampering herself by putting her feet into these foot plastic bags to take the skin off her feet, and that's how my wife rocks and rolls. There you go. And that with that, everything's got speechless. <laughs> Right. Wow. Hi, right. what's up, guys? It's Luke. I'm here, but I don't know for how long I thought I would say hi. Well, hi, Luke. Thanks for popping along. Our apologies that we've got a rubbish um, technical Clicky. issues here. Exactly. We'll get him back. Don't you worry. We'll get him back. I was just put, can't get the guests these days. The one person I wanted to get on the live stream when we did this was Paul, because I know that obviously it's new to him, it's new to us. And if he came along, it, it would be good. Right, yeah. he's back in the studio. Let's try again. Hello. 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 Still a bit jiggy Still with it. I don't know. I'll tell you what, we'll just roll with it. Hello. Why Hello. not? The reason the big Paul is lagging is due to all the Daisy, Daisy Ridley pictures Get, he's been downloading. Getting jiggy with it. Yeah. With the Daisy Jizzly, as he it. <laughs> when the hell are the cinemas all reopen? I can't tell. Oh, I forgot. Before we'll go answer this question, I'm just babbling on a bit here. Um, I have no idea when the cinemas are going to open, and I don't think it's probably a good idea to open until everybody's either had the jab or it's safe to do so and do everything in, well, people in close lo locality to each other, really. They reckon they're going to have everyone have the second dose by August. I think everybody's going to be home working. But Paul, you're going into work, though, aren't you? What? Paul? Paul, he's talking to you. I can't hear. Hang on. Hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to. Oh, hang on. I was going to try something. Uh Irish Studios, yeah, I'm feeling okay. Hang on, I've, I've had an idea. Throw me out again. Okay, right. Third time looking. 
I've had an idea. I've had a break. Irish Studios, I have my operation date for my mouth. It's now the 3rd of March. So any so, video after that, you're going to have a big bundle of shit in my mouth and lots of placards. Oh, yeah, Pete. Mm. I feel like I'm going against the grain here because I'm having this. Oh, is it, no, zero sugar is okay, I suppose. No, it's just the fact you use Pepsi. Now I've got this. Oh, yeah. It was on offer. Not a sponsor. Um, I, I was... How are you feeling, Pete? He's answered the question there. Probably looks as good as he feels. He's operation on the 3rd of March to have his face removed, which will be quite good. Should be fun. Yeah. Uh, Toby's put, have you seen a new Corolla trailer starring Emma Stone? Oh, I have. That looks, that looks good. Yeah. It I looks all right. Quite... It is very much going to be like an origin story, really, isn't it? Because it'll yeah. probably end when she meets the Dalmatians, I'm guessing. Even though there's Dalmatians in the trailer, yeah. the end of it is probably going to be get them probably follow that up with another live action remake i'm guessing yeah I know, that's what they probably do yeah i think it looks good there we go i love cherry pepsi max but nobody else does in my family hey, uh, paul. Well, fine now paul what did you do i came off wi-fi and went on on uh roaming so oh, you didn't you didn't just press x over the porn hub part of you <laughs> <laughs> i had to cover it up <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Happy birthday, by the way, Paul. Yeah, happy, oh, birthday. happy birthday, should I say? You don't look a day over 33. 37. 37, yeah, 37 apparently. Yeah, I, I saw that, yeah. I, I thought I was the same age as you. How old are you? I'm 46 in April. Oh, well, you're catching up. Yeah. I don't I'm, I'm just a young I'm only 42. You're 42? 42, wow. Yeah. Got off all right, fucking up now. Yeah, my dad's <laughs> Michael J. <G>. Fox. <laughs> Obviously not Parkinson's Pop. Pops. Well, we've got 29 watching now. Yes, so before we go ahead, I uh, yes. because Paul's not working and everything, I've made note in my lovely Star Wars notepad. I'm doing it all professionally now. Nobody goes up here and it all gets forgotten. So first off, it's happy birthday to Paul, which we've already yeah. done. Second is Tony from Horrors and Todd's birthday today, I think. So happy birthday to Tony. Who? Um, run quickly through while Paul's here. Um, other people coming up. So Jamie's on Sunday, which I think he's looking forward to, and everybody else is looking forward to. And then after him, a week later, we've got Tony. So two week later, birthday. And then after that, we've got Movie Bug on 10th of March. 40th of March, we've got uh, Robert Fett's bounty. And he said he's got some prizes lined up. And on the 21st of March, we've got Carlene Your Nine. So that's oh. the forthcoming one. Wow. But obviously today. We're here 13 minutes into the stream with a now fully streamed <laughs> Mr. Bowman. Uh, the royalty. The royalty. So, uh, I, have to so make, I, have to, I have to make my entrance, don't I? Oh, yeah. I know. I was going to do a big oh, entrance for you, but I'd have to go. Uh, 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 I was going to go, <laughs> you are to YouTube what the Beatles are to music, as in very influential. That was going to be my. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's kick you up this stream again. <laughs> yeah. where's, the, where's the fucking old one? I don't like the Beatles anyway. Right? What? I, just, I know this is only this is going to be a film and movie and TV show inspired show, but you can't the Beatles. Movie Mad's forty two as well. Didn't know. Didn't realize that. Well, I think the thing is that we all are very similar ages. It's Jamie's late thirties, isn't he? Toby Archer's nineteen. He's the youngest. He's the youngest. Yeah. Well, apart from Blue View. He's about five. Yeah, Blue View. He's 17, isn't he? <laughs> is yeah. he 17? Yeah, I think he is. It's a few lads I've sort of following, like um, Jake Blower and uh, Phil and Flick over on Movie Bugs channel. Um, and they're kind of the similar age. It's weird because we've got this generation where we are, like you, us three, uh, Kermit, uh, Tony, uh, Jamie. Jason Brett and all that, where, where this generation of movies, and you've got the other guys that are kind of like, I wouldn't say playing catch up, but there's a lot of movies coming, like a lot of stuff on your on your page there, Paul, is very much a case of oh, first time watch, first time watch. And I'm like, what? How's that? But then you're going to realize yeah. it, it's a generational thing, really. Um, so, yeah. so it's a different, the thing, best thing about this blue tube thing is that everybody's from different um, generations. So whereas me and you, and Pete might appreciate 1982 is the thing and Jaws, people coming into it. You know, it's like 40, 50 year old film and things like that. And they're, and they're not just, they can see that filmmaking has been done a long, long time ago. And it's nice to kind of be introduced to that kind of stuff. 
It's like those guys who, uh, those two guys from the hood, as it were, who they listen to new tracks and you, they film their reactions. It's like uh, they did want to feel, uh, they listened to Phil Collins in the air tonight. And they've never heard those types of beats and stuff. And they, they their subscribers have gone through the roof because they have genuine reactions to music from the 60s, 70s and 80s that they've never heard. And they're like 18, I, I like 18 and 20. I can't listen to that track anymore. All I see is a giant, massive gorilla. I love that bit. <laughs> My favorite thing on that kind of genre is do you remember that really popular tweet that got done when I last watched Ty Tiger went, Oh my god, did you know that this was based on a true story? No. You don't see no, that? No. Some girl in America was like, oh, This is based on a true story. Who knew? Like everybody except you. <laughs> That reminds yeah. me of the time where um, Barry Norman, um, was it Barry Norman? No, it wasn't Barry. Somebody, I can't remember who it was. Somebody phoned up and said, uh, or wrote to him and said, don't tell me what in, uh, in how Titanic ends. That's what it fucking said. Because they, yeah. they hadn't seen the oh. film, so they didn't want the oh. ending spoiled. You have to show what history teachers do for kids. Fuck all. <laughs> No, don't even get me started on that anyway right so we've got loads of questions coming in if i, I got told off last time right james Aston, what was the first dvd you bought oh christ dvd jeez ow oh i think my first dvd i think i said in my last stream was traffic the one with don cheadle and Catherine zeta jones i think i think mine might have been possibly mars attacks or turbulence I used to buy my DVDs from uh, a shop on Shaftesbury Avenue in London. Mm. And it's sort of like you walk in, you walk downstairs, and they had all the American DVDs. And I think there was probably only about 25 DVDs in existence. It was like 96 when it first came out. I think my first one was X versus Sever. There's what? Oh, that's Lucy Liu, isn't it? Yeah, and um, Antonio Banderas, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure, I, and I got it from America, so I think that, no, tell her the first Blu-ray I ever bought was Blade when I was in New York, because I uh, spent a thousand pounds on a portable Blu-ray player, uh, Port DVD player, portable DVD player, and bought Blade, and it wasn't even out here yet. Wow. So, and that, that cost me a shitload of money, and the, the player broke on the way back on the plane. Yeah, the first DVD player I bought was about 900 quid from that same Shaftesbury Avenue shop. And it was mm. uh, the, the Panasonic A100. I've still got it in the storeroom, works a treat. Yeah, but it's scary. Like, yeah, you, can pick a, you can pick a DVD player for like 25 quid now. No, it's just like... I think ooh. you can actually buy a DVD player for less than the price of a DVD. <laughs> this is true. Uh -huh. This is very true. This is very true. Everything's going down in price now. Um what was it like i remember when the playstation 3 first got released they sold it for what 250 300 but it was the only games console at the time i had a blue blu-ray ability to play blu-rays and, and i'm sure i read somewhere about because they've done that in and the cost is so low and at the time blu-ray players were quite high that they lost a shitload of money because of that mm. no, they would cost them more than that they were never 500 weren't they yeah exactly john t -head. Just started watching your channel, Paul. Thanks to Big Paulie, Pete Allen, and Jimmy. Favorite rom com? Notting Hill. Oh, big gay. I'm not big into rom coms, actually. I'm, I'm I'm gonna, never... I would. I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm. Oh no, it's not a rom com. I was going to say the note, but that's not a rom com. I'll no, that's a Bridget... tragedy against mankind. That is. Bridget Jones. Perhaps. I mm. remember going to see that when I was at uni mm. in Barnsley as an ex-girlfriend, I think. Yeah. I would I would probably go with like Love Actually. You know, I haven't seen that many rom coms. I don't tend to go into rom coms. Not uh, unless Dames is in it. Oh pfft. goes without saying. Yes, really, I love cherry it? Pepsi. <laughs> oh, Jason's in the house. Oh, Jason. Jason is another new YouTuber, so if you're watching this, you haven't subscribed to his channel, do it now. Do you know my, my missus na my missus last name is Brett. I thought you could say your missus name was Brett. I was gonna say hang on a minute. A lot, a lot it's a discussion Brett. we need to have around <laughs> the channel here. Yeah, what aren't you telling us? No, I had somebody subscribe to me, um, 
uh, might have been him actually, and uh, looked on his on his profile page on Facebook, and my mum's great aunt and uh, her cousin are on his picture page, so he's got to be something to do with the family somewhere. Not Brett Ainsley, Ainsley, because my mother's maiden name was Ainsley, and he he um he came up a couple of days ago, but I've never seen the guy before in my life. So I've got to figure yeah. out who he is. But he's, he's, he's got to be family. It's from somewhere. Bit weird. Really interesting story. My ex-girlfriend, for two years, I lived in Barnsley. Her grandfather, who was dead at the time when I met her, was an actor in all the Ealing studio comedies in the 50s, is it? 40s and 50s. And mm. there was a film called Genevieve. Uh, and he was in there uh, as one of the drivers. Uh, and, and I got to, he was on, he's called John Gregson, the actor. And... Uh, yeah, I got to hold his This Is Your Life book because he went on there and there's a picture of him with all the Beatles and everything. Cool. So I could have I could have been wow. involved until she decided to fuck me off and to dump me, but there you go. <laughs> Such is <laughs> life. Oh, Can I just interject uh, a certain somebody who's just reached 200 subscribers? Well, that'll be me. Yeah. Well done. Great, right, yes. Today, I, I'll tell you what's happened, though. I've put my stuff on Instagram and I've done my own channel on Instagram now as opposed to my personal one. And you get a lot more people commenting on your stuff as you do on just posting pages. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, when I started this, I remember sitting in my car when I was at work, because I used to sit in the car on my lunch because I was unsociable, and uh, just watching Paul's videos and going, and going oh, next month I'm going to buy that, and next month I'm going to buy that. And mm -hmm. I think it was just during lockdown, I thought, you know what, I'm going to start the whole thing. So so for all my shit and all the videos out there, there's only one man to blame, Maybe, and he's underneath me. <laughs> Right, we'll go through some more questions. Uh, I'm not going to Paul, how did you... anybody's wallets. <laughs> you have. There's a big influence. It's um, <laughs> You could go out and buy a £2 Blu-ray from Asda, and I guarantee Asda sales will go through the roof in certain regions of the country. Because everybody, oh, I love that, I love that. Especially I mean, if it's got a black case. Black case, yeah. What's that? What was that thing? Uh, what's Wild, that? Um... Wild card with Jason the Statham. One. Yeah, you've got sixty percent of the world's population a wild card now, haven't you? Yeah, most successful selling Blu-ray in history. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all thanks because it, because it, because of your skills of promoting it, he's got himself a new back scratcher or something like that. Probably ivory back scratcher. Blech. Should bleed and pay me, shouldn't they? Exactly. Well, have you heard back from uh, who was who's going to get in touch with you for about telling oh. you some stuff? Uh, oh, it's an indie an indie label. I can't remember the name of them. They haven't got back to me yet. No. 88 films. That was it, yes. Yeah. That's right. So that should be easy to wallet if you get them in the post. Oh, yeah. So, uh, has anyone taken the time to look at Zoom yet? I looked at Zoom today um, because I've obviously been taken over by a different company, but it doesn't yeah, seem... The only thing that's not on there are any sales. Yeah. Have they, have they pushed it oh, up? The average, average brewer is like £19.68. And you're thinking, okay, yeah. Some of like the uh, collector stuff was like 30, 40 quid, um, and there's no there's no deals going on. I know it's their first day, but you know, and hardly anything's up on there. But if that's where their pricing is going to go, I don't think they're going to do well. So, but it's are only they, day one. Are they keeping it as Zoom, or are they going to change the name and rebrand it to this other company? No, they're, they're keeping it as Zoom, but um, the, I reckon it's a couple of weeks and I'll have everything on there. There's no 4Ks on there, and, um, there's two steel books. There's no toys, none of that on there. I think they just ripped it out last night and put a few bits in that they've got stock of in this in this country, I suppose. But mm, they're going to have to impress me because I've got no problem with bitching about all of them. To be honest, I, I never really used Zoom that much. You know, HMV, Amazon, Zavi. Maybe in the last year I ordered like three things from Zoom. Yeah, I've probably had about ten, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, always like, I always like their big week, their big weekend deals because I, I like taking the piss out of them because some of them are desperate. You know, some of them are really desperate. I mean, like eight DVD kids DVDs was their weekend deals. I mean, Jesus Christ! They were probably um, they were probably new in the background. They were going to get taken over. And they're probably getting rid of all the old stock. That's probably what I do it. It's the same with any kind of next doors and Christmas. They all they do is go to the back and then they take out all the stuff and they put it back on. I remember when I used to work in the Disney store when I finished Disney. We used to have all the other stock downstairs and used to bring it out and put it back on there. It's That's how the system works, isn't it? Yeah. Does anybody check their their uh, eBay store? 
if there's any sales on there or no, I have not oh, no, never thought of going there. No, I was still pissed off with eBay because I can't use PayPal to uh, receive the money. So that really pissed me off. <laughs> I don't know why they change that. Why? It's stupid. I have no idea. Right, I tell you what, because this this is what happens every time. So, Jason, tangent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this every time. But like three hours in the conversation, and we've got thirty-five questions to go through. Yeah. Have you watched Mothra yet? Thank you very much for that gift. I have not watched it yet. I will be on my list to watch soon. I shall let you know. Um, what's this, dear? My dad was at eighty four when he got a VHS. I think it was like a grand. I remember about my mother's when we lived in Killingworth in a part of North Tyneside, and we had a Betamax player. But a Betamax player had had the lead. It wasn't remote control. It had the wire. Um, yeah. I re remember my dad always used to have yeah, them. The, the slam down top to it. That's yeah, the one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it, we didn't buy Betamax because you couldn't buy films with Betamax at the time. You had to, you could only record them. So I remember my dad had the full Blackadder, the full Faulty Towers. Um, so I just remember all those. But yeah, so yeah, that was that. Uh, and with the days, you press record and pause, and then you press play when you want it to start, and then you, you tried to edit shit together, and there was always like a fuzz <laughs> in between each program. Oh. The same as Sunday night on Radio One when you used to uh, wait for number one, so you record it and try and get it before the Radio One. The, guy did yeah. it so you could record it the top 40 i used to on the vhs i used to record things like sequest and uh what was that one that gene roddenberry one uh final destination final destination or something and i used to try and aim it so that because i knew when itv were going to go into their breaks and that was the only way of actually you know having the episodes all on all on one tape mm. and then i used to put the ticker in the corner yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I used to do my own VHS covers for them. I think probably I've got some still up in the storeroom. <laughs> your storeroom must be right treasure trove. Yeah, I need to yeah, go you're, you're going to be on summer. like that. You're going to be on like what's that UK living the storage hunt? Someone's going to bust somebody's thing open. It'll be yours with all these VHS things and everything in it. Well, I tell you, if they do that, they're going to get a nice mint because there's like three drum kits in there, loads of electronics, Blu-ray players, and all sorts of shit. The antiques frozen in time. So yeah. as soon as we all let out, look the forward to the, uh, the the old car park with table set up outside Big Paulie's house. <laughs> Do a bit of Guard that. sale. Right, Lachlan's on here. Next question: What's your favourite Blu-ray that you own? Always oh, got it already. What is that? A Night at Roxbury. Yeah. Is that right? Never seen it. Classic. It's, uh, the problem with it is. Back in the day, my, me, me and my best mate were literally that, with the with the Beamer and everything, so the sad suits, the whole shebang, and it was literally us. We saw it for the first time and we went, oh shit, the rest of the family see this, we're, we're never going to live it down. We looked exactly like that, it was really bad. So it's absolutely my favourite film, apart from some kind of wonderful. I don't know what the favourite Blu-ray I own is, because obviously there's 4K as well. For design wise and quality, it's probably the uh, the mummy trilogy. Oh, that's a beautiful one, that is. Which is like the, the book, the book of the dead with the steel yeah. books in it. That's probably yeah, that'd, my be my, one. that'd be my first burglary target, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I would probably yeah. say if I could reach it without falling out on my chair, because it's probably this. And I, I do have obviously the 4Ks in the steels, but. I just like how it opens up and it's got the map. Oh, yeah, that's a it's very really hard. Set. And it's, it's, like, it's like magnetic. Um, I don't know why I've, well, I know why I've still got it because the 4Ks only came with the 4Ks. But um, I don't know. I took ages to find this and get it at a cheap price. Thank God for 30 good at the timing. Um, that's probably my that one is my favorite Blu ray. Um, very 4K is probably my Ghostbusters Steelbook. Because I really wanted that when it came out, and um, it was in America, then I had to get it from import from Germany. Um, but yeah, that's my favourite Blu-ray. So there you go. Uh, Jason, on again with Godzilla coming out next week. What is your favourite Godzilla film? I haven't seen any apart from Godzilla and Godzilla King of the Monsters. Well, I know. I, I mean, I did uh, watch a cartoon, Godzilla and Godzuki. Today, yesterday. Oh, is that the one I sent you? Yeah. Okay, it arrived. That's all right. Man. Yeah, I've got an urgent one for you because I'm sure at least Big Paulie would have done this before. Oh, yeah. disc, re disc recalls. Who? Disc recalls. 
We had the news about this. Recalls. Oh, right. Yeah, they're going to do a recall on the disc because there's a fault with them. Everyone's saying the picture's shit. There's a reason oh, for right. it. So I got this off of Music Magpie, but it's, I, I don't know whether they classed it as new or not. So how the hell do I get a replacement disc? No, it will still be classed as you having it. I think they did the same with Deadwood. There was a problem with a couple of episodes of the Deadwood trilogy. Yeah. yeah. So uh, maybe I have to contact... I mean, this, uh, someone's put a couple of things on Facebook about it. Maybe I'll attach it to my uh, my Facebook page, but it's like... I don't want to even open it until I know I can get uh, the correct disc. My, my favourite Godzilla is the... Uh, the 2014 Gareth Edwards, by the way. Yeah, I do I'm like the 98 on one, you know, the uh, the Roland Emmerich one. I like. I have fun with that one. The, the 2014 one is the one that I'm getting from Jamie for my birthday, isn't it? The one that's coming yes. out. Yeah. Yes. The one with HM, Frank HMV are going to be releasing it on 4K as well, aren't they? In a special edition. The Sunday edition, yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're the Sunny man around here, not me. I, I, I only have one in addition that's tenant the rest of them I, I, I'm not really that bothered about but some of them were really nice you know the Jaws one was really good yeah I think the Knives Out one was really nice oh, yeah and the uh, the Goonies that comes in the uh, oh, that's right yeah yeah the, case, the map like the, and everything like the oh that was a cool one I like Miller Ship's next uh, question what was the first film you saw at the cinema this Where did you get that one from? It's further down. I'm sure you're jumping ahead here. Yeah. Um, I'm an we'll go kid. back. The first film I saw at the cinema was probably, and I'm going to show my age more than all you probably show your age. It was probably Empire Strikes Back. Exactly the same answer, mate. Is it? Holy crap! Yeah. And I didn't have a clue what I was watching. I've got to admit that that is the the one that I remember. Uh, yeah. Apparently, according to my brother, my mum and dad took me to see Star Wars, the original, 1977. I don't remember. But also, apparently, she took uh, my mum took me to see Snow White, and I have no no recollection of that. But Empire, I remember seeing in Dover, in the old ABC cinema. Yeah. Well, well my dad I used to take more, me. I remember more about the ice cream I ate. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the screens used to I... close at half time, and you'd yep. get your little tub with the wooden spoon. Yep. I, do you really? remember when I think it was Lord of the Rings came out? There's a lot of questions at the time, and I could be wrong here, and it could have just been hearsay that people were wondering whether or not they were going to bring back the halftime breaks because of the length of Lord of the Rings in the first one. Can you remember yeah. that? Uh, I can't remember if they were doing that. I didn't. I didn't see any of the Lord of the Rings in the cinema. Yeah, every year. Uh, tradition. I saw Titanic in really small screen in Dover. You're talking about like thirty seats, called the silver screen, uh, and they actually did have a halftime during Titanic and it was I think it was just before the ship crashed or hit the iceberg that's it spoil it for other people yeah no what are you like <laughs> <laughs> that's it. damn it I was going to watch that tonight now he's spoiled it for us ridiculous <laughs> just fuck up the internet yeah. Darth Vader is Luke's father <laughs> don't, don't even go there Bruce oh, is I tell dead you <laughs> I could just no, I'm not going to go. Um, what I was going to say is, I also remember oh. going to see Back to the Future two and three because my dad used to take me to the cinema every Christmas because it was part of his works thing where you could take a family member to the cinema. And it was down um, in the west, not west end, just out in, just within the Newcastle city centre. Uh, I don't think cinemas there anymore, um, but I think that, I saw Ghostbusters there, Empire there, Back to the Future two and three there. Uh, and then one of my earliest memories going to see Batman Returns at the cinema around where I used to live because my mum was going to take me, but she decided to fall over and fracture her skull. So she was critical, well, critical oh, but she was, um, she was ill. So I walked on my own when I was about 13 or 14, which I'd never done before, um, to go and see Batman Returns on my Todd. I remember that was 92, I think. I could be wrong. I've got a question so, for you too. What is your most embarrassing film you saw at the cinema? Spice Girls a movie that you wouldn't want him to admit to. Obviously, it's Spice World. I saw Supergirl four times at the cinema. Oh, Ben Barrison, I don't know. You're that one know. person that actually went to see Fifty Stages of Shit, aren't you? You went. You, I never went to see that at the cinema. I just wait for Effie Sod to send me the disc. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is true. That's another thing that's got up and sailed. Uh, what's your favourite World War Two movie? Ooh. Saving Private Ryan. Many. I, can't, I liked Fury. That surprised me. Fury, I, I Fury is great. That. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it that much. I thought it was more Brad Pitt foddery, but <laughs> yeah, I was impressed. I would probably go along with um, um, Saving Private Ryan. Although I'm still yeah. watching, I haven't finished watching Come and See, and that's set during the Second World War. Heck, uh, heck, but there's loads uh, out there. Ridges, heck, Ridges, Ridge is a great film as well. Yeah, Greyhound is World War Two. So on uh, about the Dam Busters, I love that. That was one of my granddad's favourite films. Yeah, The I Great Escapes World War Two as well, isn't it? Mm. There's a lot out yeah. there based on it. That I do like um. um the pianist with Adrian Brody. That's very good. <laughs> what what he was gonna say then? Hmm. He likes the penis. <laughs> the pianist. The, the person who plays the piano. Mm. The pianist. The, the, Adrian the Broder. So I think World War Two favorite movies, I would probably save Brian Ryan and Schindler's List. Those would probably be my top two. And they're both Spielberg. Yeah. So I've never seen Schindler's List. Never seen it. There's a tumbleweed moment just gone there. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, you've got it, obviously, though, haven't you? Yeah, but the missus, uh, it's the kind of film she'd never want to watch for obvious reasons, but, and I couldn't, I couldn't really watch it on my own. This is it. So it's just, I, I own it, but not, it's not at the front of the queue to watch. Mm, it's one of those it things. It is very you know? much. Yeah. Oh, and Glorious Bastard, you could add that into World War Two, couldn't you? No, I yeah. do like that one. That's yeah. Good, yeah. This, if you could have the entire back catalogue of movies by a star, whose would it be and why? Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> so I could watch the, the downfall in slow motion. The weird shit collection. <laughs> no, this there goes me fucking money collection. <laughs> <laughs> his quality goes down, his bills go up. Uh, I would have I to would... say I would have to say uh, yeah, go on, Paul. I, I was thinking along the lines of either Tom Hanks or Harrison Ford. Because they're both solid actors and they're both really good. Because if you yeah. look at all the early 80s, Harrison Ford, you've got Blade Runner, Frantic, Witness, Indiana Jones, and then Star Wars, etc. And with, with um, Tom Hanks, you've got him going from comedy roles into more serious drama roles. So I think both, uh, both of those actors, I would probably go for those two. Although I, I'm sure Harrison Ford is a bit of a prick if you've ever met him, though. I just get that sense from him. Quick vibe. Um, I'll probably I'll go with Arnie. There are quite a few gaps in my Arnie collection that I need to fill up. Well, Last Action Hero is coming out 4K. Yeah, I know. Can't wait for that one. I tell you oh, what. Finland's getting all the good stuff. There's some good ones coming out. I've got this thing. I don't know why. I think I don't know why, but I do not, and I will not ever own a movie that has The Rock in it. I don't know why, because he's a great guy. I just don't think any of his movies he's made are buying material for me apart from possibly pain and gain other than that I, I, I don't know it's just one of those things like I won't ever wear red and white because of the Sunderland thing and I will never ever buy a Dwayne Johnson movie so that's yeah. interesting you haven't got thing. any you haven't got any of the yeah, Jumanji movies no I don't have any of them I don't even have the Robin Williams one dude I've got them 4k you still look and normal you have to have the Jumanji See, the, the new ones, just, I don't know. I just don't think Dwayne Johnson's ever been in a... He, yeah, he gets the money, but he hasn't been in an excellent film. They're all been bang average popcorn kind of movies, really. I mean, name yeah. one The Rock film, which is excellent, where you would think, ooh, he's definitely worth the money. You know, if you look at for, um, Tom Hanks, like I said before, he's up here with like, the acting status. Dwayne Johnson, I know he's a wrestler and he comes into this, but I just don't think... Even the Jungle Cruise that's coming out, they're all just kind of like mediocre, middle of the road kind of movies. But that's just my I, opinion. I, I like his character in the mm -hmm. Fast and Furious films, but I think probably my favourite one of his is probably the Scorpion King. Oh, actually, I don't know. I have just obviously bought the Mummy trilogy. Now he is in there, CGI and original. Does that count as one in one? That counts. Well, yeah, that counts. He's actually in the film, isn't he? Yeah. Would anybody like to buy the Mummy Returns in 4K? <laughs> Reposted. 
Uh, you got you got the 4K trilogy. You got to have the Scorpion King. You know the other three are just shitty TV popcorn stuff, isn't they? Oh. But I mean, Lou Frig isn't Lou Frigno in one of those. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I Next question. Check. We're going to keep going through these guys because sure. forty minutes in, we've answered about three questions. What is the worst TV series series to never bother watching? How would we know if it's a bad one if we've never watched it? <laughs> <laughs> I would. I started watching. What's that one with Jessica Biel, the sinner? The one where she kills some guy at a picnic and then she gets accused of it and obviously she can't remember it even though she did it. I turned that off. Homeland, I watched about three seasons of that and then got bored of it. I couldn't stand Claire Danes' character. Um, but got worst TV series... I haven't watched one yet. I, can't, I haven't even finished all of Breaking Bad, but I'm not going to say that's a bad series because I know I'll get into it. Um... Worst TV series. Oh, I know. I've got one. But I forgot the name of it. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> yeah, Miss, well, Mrs. I, I, Brown's I, I, Boys. There we go. Mrs. Brown's Boys. <laughs> oh, now, now, now. I have to defend the Irish little git now. that Come on, man. That's, I've got like 10 Blu-rays of Mrs. Brown's. I love Mrs. Brown. I just, I've watched a couple of episodes because it's been on the background. And, I, and you know, it has this massive kind of following. But I just, just me, I just don't get it. Don't think it's funny. Also, also right. with a massive following, which I've never really been interested in watching, is Sex and the City, the series. Oh, it's just too girly that. for me. And Lou and Claire love Downton Abbey, and I've just never really wanted to get into Downton Abbey. Me neither. But they're still I bought the, both the, big ratings, the, isn't they? Isn't I bought the Mrs. The Box set of Downton Abbey because she loved it, so she could watch it all over again. It's done in the freaking cellophane wrapper. Honestly, ungrateful, ungrateful. <laughs> right. James is in the house. Hello, everyone. Sorry, James took so long. And then he's put Hello, this James. in the Monday poster with Paul. Yeah, that's cool, that is. That's yeah, the problem yeah. with, with StreamYard is you want to go that way, but you're actually going to go that way. Yeah. It's really, I'll show like that. Uh, did you ever collect laser discs? No, yeah, but it's I'm really nice from my, uh, from my... Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that was your present from work discs. for your 50th. Nah, never collected laser discs. Yeah, from my, my work. Oh, congratulations. Uh, laser friend. discs. There was a shop in Faversham, which is like 30 miles from me. Uh, I used to go out the back. I think it was like a wool shop or something at the front, and then you go out the back of the shop, and then they, there would be a company selling laser discs there. Someone um, just knocked yeah, my door. This, I'll be back. And this, this was just, toilet, you know, before... <laughs> No, it's always on. We're going to have a yeah, on the channel. <laughs> yeah, loads of laser discs. I, I collected them from about 94, 94 until DVD came out. Was, the, it, uh, was the picture quality the improvement? Not, not quite DVD quality. Right. I always still, that, you know, the best thing to, to have... Yeah, it's the best thing to have over VHS. But mm-hmm. once DVD came around, I sold a lot. Only one thing I noticed with VHS, well, maybe it was the, the best thing about VHS and Betamax. Oh, sorry, DVD or VHS Betamax is you never had the problem where the machine would churn it up, so you had to pull it out, and then all the film would come out, and you try to put it back to. Oh, see, yeah. kids these days don't even have that problem. It, it's the same now as if, if yeah, my daughters um... when they get get older, they ring their friends and go. Me and you be like, hi there, is, is Charlotte in or is John in? Yeah, just go get them. John, not now. You've got the mobiles and go straight to them. <laughs> Honestly, don't get this. Uh, what the recent movies have you? Oh, what's the recent movies you've watched the past few days, guys? And did you like what you watched at all? I'll let you go because I don't think you've done your reviews, haven't you? Um. I, yeah, I've, I saw the Nicholas, the new Nicholas Cage one, Willy's Wonderland. Um, still Nicholas Cage in in his declining years, but it was moderately fun. Uh, what else did I watch? I watched the Tom Hanks News of the World. That was okay. quite a good film. That was a good western. I haven't seen that yet. I want to see that. Looks cool, doesn't it? I watched. Yeah, it's a slow burn one. But it's really good. That was wrong turn as you probably saw me. Oh, it wasn't mine, it was from the other half. My one still do. It's only another hat. It's a different colour hat. 
because last time I washed this the hat, it opened up like a big petal and it was absolutely buggered. So I thought I'd better get another one before I wash this one. See, my life I is probably a different you know? colour t shirt come in. Nah, God. <laughs> I see what you're wearing a different one today. Different uh, shirt. <laughs> yes. I've got lots of white shirts. Yeah. The one that I can't get yeah. is that up. I mean, I, I can't, I can't live with those kind of patterns that Paulie has. It, I just can't carry it off, you know. <laughs> my old, uh, my idea was my that God. every stream that we, I'm getting some really idea bright was, ones. Good. And every every stream that we're going to have, I was going to change the background setup, which I've done again today, and I was going to put like a movie T-shirt on for every stream we do. Except the problem with because I'm leaning here and I've got to press the, the comments to come on that nobody can see me T-shirt. So that is my uh, T-shirt today. And hey, what's that? What's that car washing rag behind you yeah. up there? What's that? This here, this is my yeah. Alain San Maximan. <laughs> sure. I, so don't I thought know it was like a, a car wash rag or something, you know. Let's shite oh, actually, there. just behind your head, I actually thought that was a countdown. <laughs> I was waiting for nine to come up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, if that's their position in the league, then... Uh... No, if it's position in the league, they'll be like 17th or 20th. Oh, shite. Rubbish. I've been nice. <laughs> <laughs> In case this anyone's wondering, 15 people got the question right for the uh, giveaway. Oh, yes. We shall do that on the hour. How's that? Unless Paulie's obviously got to go. you got work tonight. No, I ain't got to go anywhere. You're not working? Uh, i got work. Fr Friday. Friday I'm working. Ah, that's right. Friday, Saturday, yeah, Sunday. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not at your level. I didn't give away, I'm not giving away still books, but... Oof. can't believe you did that. I can never get oh, yeah, there's no I'll, prize I'll, I could give away that'll outdo those steel books. What steel books? What steel books? What steel books did you give away? Oh, Paulie? the Star Wars ones. Yeah. Oh, that was a good prize. Oh. Can you can you? You was giving away your diehard one when you paid. Hey. You was giving away your diehard steel book the other day. Yeah, it's it only the fifth one. Um, but, uh, the it was uh, Clement's Ghost that won it. And then he was like, I'll give that to somebody else. I don't need that. But he took, he took the Amaro <laughs> cases, though. Did, did he not actually want the steel book or just didn't want the film? He, I think he just didn't want the film. He doesn't get variants, really. So if he's got it, he's got it. Stop listening to us, Kermit, and carry on with your decorating. <laughs> Kermit Listen does have a serious question here. What would you say were the best or worst, hey, things, worst things about being a YouTuber? Worrying about having something to talk about. I'd say getting recognised in the street. Honestly, I go up and down here. Oh, hi, Paul. No, that never happens. <laughs> that was... um, best and so worst thing. Is, I've dealt with that camera. for years. I've dealt with that for years because <laughs> I was. It's what twenty four <laughs> years since I worked for Blockbusters, yeah, and I worked for them for like four or five years, and I still have people say hello to me today from over twenty years ago. Yeah, because they still recognise my Meet, meeting people. That that's the thing. I mean, I've met I've met Lewis over Folkestone. Uh, I've met a few people. I, oh God, was it last year or the year before? I was down Westwood Cross before HMV closed down, and there was actually a couple in there from Bristol hmm. that had actually come down to do some shopping at Westwood Cross because they saw the video, and they just happened to be in the store while I was filming on a Monday. So we had a good chat. Yeah, so meeting people was really nice. Yeah, I'd say the best thing about since I joined in March is meeting new people like you two yeah. and then Rob, Jamie, Alan, uh, Movie Bug, Alex Pitt. Yeah, new people. Isn't it? just a, yeah, and the, whole, a little the whole community, community. Which is really good. And it stretches the length and breadth of the UK. The I, mean, one, I know the obviously we've got I, American ones. Yeah. yeah. The one thing I regret is not tagging along with you lot when you went to, uh, was it HMV in. Um, the vault with Jamie and Kermit and Katie. Are you talking to me there? Yeah, yeah. It's not me. I'm a, I'm a bloody northeast man. No, it wasn't H and V. Well, we well they, our H and V closed about two years before that. Yeah, we were in uh, the Disney shop. We were in the CX there, and um, Katie spent about an hour in Primark while me and Kermit were stood outside with a pissing down <laughs> in the rain. Was it what Southampton was you went to then? Was it? Yeah, it was Southampton. Yeah, they um they came down to oh, they yeah. came down to me. I mean, you seen Jamie's video of me walking with my wheelchair at the time. 
and we had we had some breakfast in yeah. a nice little pub down the end there and it was just really nice just to i mean i didn't i had no idea Kermit was coming that day he kept it totally secret and he just creeped up behind me that was generally gobsmacked you know and <laughs> big paulie was supposed to be coming down weren't you but i don't, I don't know if you were ill you had work or what that i would have been mad as fuck yeah i, I think i would have died yeah. if you had been there as well I, I I mean, if I ever meet you in the street, people be, be prepared I to be jump. Just I should have just said that I was ill and then turn up at that pub and pretending to be the waiter or something. What do you bastards want? It was self it was self service. <laughs> they made us get our own coffees, bastards. <laughs> Cheek. Those were the days, eh? Yeah. I mean, what happened, Paul? Um, weren't you going to go on a road trip as well at some point? Were you looking for like the funding for that as well? Yeah. Uh, the what's it called? I can't remember the. I've still got about 45 quid of that. So um, hopefully sometime in the summer, if we can get out, then um, we'll do that on a big meetup. But yeah, it was the trip trip jar. Ah, yeah. Because I wanted to get out and do a little, a lot more exploring and a lot more blue way hunting, you know, Liverpool and all sorts of places. But uh, I've just never done it. And then my mum went and then the cat went and then <laughs> and then we had lockdown and yeah it's just it's been an absolute terrible couple of years even now it's not that much better it's just never going to be the same again it's it's weird because the generation like like my three and um seven year old this is what they think now they're like they're going, can we go to grandma and grandma's when the pandemic's uh, when coronavirus isn't here and it's it's just weird when we've grown up we didn't have any of that you know now we've got all this mm. corona it's just what they're, they're used to now which just had a massive impact on everybody yeah, it's mentally just... it's affecting. There was a bloke on. There was a bloke on the news the other day, and uh, you know he was moaning because he answered his, his parents. It was just coming up to a year now, so um, it's affecting a lot of people, isn't it? I mean, luckily for me, part, it, like I mean, like, like he's, me and you, we've both lost our mums. But the only time I was allowed in the hospital to see her is when the support was Paul like I, yeah. I had to I had to agree for them to let her go that was the hardest thing but as soon as I did that yeah the ticket mm. went out the window that's, we were all allowed in it's it was really to do it in that kind I of I think that sort of well. thing would have, to yeah. would have totally dev devastated me because the, the the good thing that I hold on to is that mum was in hospital and she passed away before the virus yeah. hit or well february but as it was hitting so there was no restrictions we had the full funeral mm. uh we were all uh, uh, you know around her bed so that's something i've got to hold on to that there was a positive out of it so i've never wanted to hug a bloke so much in my life when you were in that car crying so yeah felt so so much for you that so time. that was a that was a tough video mm. really tough video it's actually coming up on Mum, mama's bowman's first anniversary actually on the 21st mm. Yeah, we'll all be thinking of you, mate. Oh, yeah, I can't no believe it's been a year are, already. How old you are, your mum's your mum. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I think of your mum, Paul, I always think, don't get me wrong, Unless I always think of Captain with, Marvel. Uh, yeah. That's what I always think of Captain Marvel, whenever I see it, yeah. not in a kind of weird way. That I <laughs> well, always that was, think of your mum, because that, you've got to see it. That was, the last, that was the last film we ever saw at the cinema, and that's her stroke in the little cardboard cutout of Goose. Oh. And that's why I'm I like my that's... Captain Marvel still book because it's got goose on the back, which also reminds me of, of, of our cat Bobby that we had. Yeah, so it's very sentimental. Ooh, you're really tea, isn't it? Mm. I like the film anyway, so I don't care what anybody says. I do, I enjoy it. I love a bit of Brie Larson. Um, I don't know. Don't, don't we all? Uh, the Blu ray and DVD collectors here. He is indeed. Afternoon, my friend. William, hello. I'm going to. I've got to catch up here. There's loads of questions. Oh, Keith's here. All right, Keith. I'm going to give you a shout here, but I completely forgot. Uh, what else we got? What's your most prized movie possession? Um, I, I don't, don't have one. I have one. I don't think I have so one. There was a, it's a question along with someone. So if your house was on fire, what would you save? It'd be my family. I wouldn't give a shit about these these burning because you can't replace the human. That's what, I mean, if if I'm if I'm skin, I sell films. 
because you got you, you can't let it overtake you. You can't have films instead of clothes. You can't have films instead of food. So I don't have anything which I wouldn't care about getting rid of. I know it sounds weird, but I'd get, if it, like if my daughter needed an operation for cancer, I'd sell every single stick I have in the house. Yeah, it's just, that's it's just the way just the my mindset feels, you know. My, my 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 dad was a wanker. He left me when I was seven, and it was always, oh, I've got to buy this part for my bike. I got to do this for my, for my this for me, this for me. No, I was never considered, and I damned if my daughter's going to live that way. So my, I've always been what she needs is what she gets, because I didn't get it. So, hmm. I would possibly say this might be one. I mean, there's only when I went to Florida and I got mm -hmm. that. Uh, yeah, that's cool. But I don't think I have anything. I'm getting, I'm getting the right list of burglary items I'm, I'm looking at here. You know? <laughs> well, although I do like my... Um, here he is. I, Rob right above me. me, right at the top yeah. here, I've got two... Uh, well, one framed photo uh, of the Vampire Diaries signed by the cast. Cool. And I've also got the Cinderella movie. With Hel uh, I think Helena Bonham Carter, Kate Blanchett, and all that lot, the live action one, and that's signed by the entire cast, including Kenneth Branagh. Other than that, it's probably uh, a lot of Star Wars stuff that I've got in the in the storeroom. You know, old Star Wars toys and stuff like that. Hmm. I mean, I've got I've got right. a I mean, it's a bit different. I mean, I've got I've got a signed look oh, onto it Oasis picture, and I've got a signed Lincoln Park. But movie wise, I've only got um a, a signed uh i think um lord of the rings from one of the hobbits i don't know if it's pippin or merry i can't remember um and i got I'm me signed newcastle to it <laughs> big old <laughs> i got a darth Ma I got it i got a darth maul figure signed by ray park that'll be all right it's worth it yeah but the only downfall about that is it's signed by ray park <laughs> he was all right i mean it, he did have he's to get with that. He's arrogant. Is he really? He was all right when I met him. I like his. I like the character, but I, I've seen a few videos of him being a bit of a dick. There you go. Is this another serious question? When people ask uh, why what you all do for jobs, you guys just work in an office. What do you actually do? I work, work in an office. Russian yeah. assassin. <laughs> I do work in office. Obviously, I work home working. I work within social care within North Yorkshire. There you go. Boom. I can't say because we're in the security sector. So it's top secret work. There you go. So Paul is a hitman. And I'm medically if, if I, I'll get a bollock in from my bosses if I say. Yeah, you work for G4S then. There you go. We are all helping society in one way or another. From an office. And technically, I'm medically retired. Chloe, can you get the door? Hi, oh, okay. Door's gone again. Live, Chloe. <laughs> My, my daughter's been, been asleep all afternoon. Who's your favourite director? Ooh. Probably Spielberg still. Steven Spielberg. Yeah. I you can't, you can't knock like it, what he's done. Christopher Spielberg. Nolan. I think he's serious of one classic of his films. films. Mm. Spielberg, yeah, I mean, I, I think was your favourite. I mean, Spielberg is a good director, but very personally, I like David Fincher as well. David Fincher and... Um, I just said his name and I've forgotten. <laughs> um, Taika Waititi is all right as well. But favourite director would probably be Christopher Nolan for me, personally. Or what Ridley Scott. I can't remember. But Ridley Scott's from my neck of the woods as well, so that's the northeast. Boom. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, Ron Howard's good, isn't he? I suppose. Who? Ron Howard. Yeah. From Happy Days. Mm. Part That's another thing as well. A lot of people obviously get the movies now. Well, not know Ron Howard from Happy Days Time. Or oh, that Mr. Miyagi was, a, yeah. was the owner of the restaurant in Happy Days. Hey, he was, wasn't he? Yep. Mind you, if you, if you see him, he's, he's about the utmost was he? Being ever. Yeah, he was. He, he, I'm, sure, I'm sure he was the. Uh... Oh, is this going to be a live unboxing? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> What collection of your collect? What percentage of your collection are non-UK? It's books? not. A, it's not a dented steel book from Zabby, is it? No. Um. Someone put on Facebook today. Um. 
Who sends a steel book in paper? Somebody that's actually just wrapped it in yeah, paper. Yeah, I saw that. I mean, that Jesus. Brown paper. Uh, it's not me app. It's a thermometer. Oh, brilliant. Is that so when you put all your, when you get your shave and your hair, you can see how hot you actually are? Well, if, if when my daughter may be going back to school, I'm thinking because well, my my immunity system is fucked. I'm going to be have to take her temperature every day when she gets home because I don't trust them to do it. So I've got that. So is that, does that also mean you're going to do out the sheds where she's going to be sleeping if she's infected? Well, no. If, if she's infected, she'll be in the house, and I'll be probably put putting the other way next to the house. In my, in my wheelchair with a big uh, anorak on or something. And it's content, 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 oh, content unit. <laughs> it's what? I don't know, I'm talking shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good afternoon. <laughs> uh, that's another thing when, when, when was saying. What, what's the worst thing about being a YouTuber? When you do it, I stutter a lot. I don't stutter in the real life. Uh, in fact, the missus tells me shut up all the time, but it's trying to get your personality across without stuttering and stop trying to be kind of you just get excited yeah. something wrong with that you get excited i'm not drinking today i mean i'm on yeah. i'm on non-alcoholic well, drinks today i can talk in public i'm good at that i didn't used to be until i went for blockbusters I, I i wouldn't even look a woman in the face now i mean i'll do everything i'm a cheeky shit now but the master here is big paulie of course because he'll talk and he's articulate all the time but he's been doing this for a while if you're only just on it, I mean, when I first did it, I was like a quiet little mouse. Hopefully, you'll like my collection. Yeah, I was. I was, I was go back to did my you first see video. my first ever Blu ray hunt? No. I'd have to I go back on that. I have your early videos. I have seen your early videos. Watch and you're the very... first Blu ray hunt. You, what, you think that even Kristen Stewart's the most dullest actress? <laughs> it's just one expression I've got for the entire video. Wait that. <laughs> It's like, Hello, oh, everybody. Just some blue hunting. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, Rob, just watch Monster Hunter. What a terrible film. Roll on Mortal. Rob's never mentioned Mortal Kombat oh, on no. the Facebook group. See, we're not even out yet. Did you get it off uh, streaming or naughty ways? What do you reckon? Oh, oh. It, it was me and Jamie and Kate at the vault in Birmingham. Later, me, Jamie, Kate, and Pete in Southampton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking of the. Um, the uh, the vault one earlier on, yeah. It's Andrew, he's in a long. It's like it's like I think on the radio station, a long time listener, first time caller. Uh, Andrew's been a big Paulie fan since 2017. He's got a signed T-shirt and a picture of you on his wall, and he's now subscribed to both myself and Pete. Um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's had a three DVD collection. Yeah, watch one new film every day since I was 16. Fair play, son. If I had the choice to do that, I would do. I'm actually watching. I was flicking through Netflix last night. What something to watch? Didn't fancy news of the world. I wasn't in the mood to finish watching that um, Russian come and see movie, so I put on American Mary on Netflix. Have you seen that one? I own it. Not watch Mary. It. Yeah, it's about a girl who's a student at a hospital wanting to be a surgeon, Black and hair. then she, and then she starts going into uh, modif modif body modifications um, and getting money for it, and then it goes from there. Uh, it's all right. It's, it's watchable. It's a bit of gore in there. Um, yeah, right. See, Paul, if you say now that you're going to watch it, Netflix is going to have a surge of everybody watching American Mary now because you recommended it. Yeah. Although that will pull you to be able to film a day. I, I, I can I could just ne I could just never do it. Obviously, with work, but there's so many other things. You know, I'm lucky if I get two films in a week. Most most weeks. Yeah, I agree. I had that's planned. Like, that's of, my problem. I had planned today, take the kids up to my parents, come back, have some dinner. The wife would finish work at one. She said she was going for a run, so I was going to go and put Parasite on because I haven't watched Parasite yet, but I bought it um, 4K, and I was going to watch that downstairs on the 4K telly. But then she went for a run. I went up here, I had my dinner up here while she was working downstairs, watched a bit of American Mary, played a bit of FIFA. Next thing you know, she's come home and then it's a live stream. So I haven't even had a chance to turn around to do anything. I still need to watch Parasite. Um, so life just gets in the way of Blu-rays, doesn't it, you know? I know. What is your next plan purchase, Blu-ray wise? We'll just pre-order the Mulan still, but you on that point? I... No, I'm not going for the steel books. I'm going for the uh, the Amorays. 
the 4K ammo rays there, like fourteen ninety nine each. Well, I like the artwork on that one. The other artwork for Mulan, the live action, no, I obviously the ammo is much better. Mm. I've ordered uh, just a normal Blu-ray for um, Soul. I think Zabby's t taking the piss too much on their prices when it comes to steelbooks now. Yeah, thirty-two ninety-nine for the Mulan steelbook. Although they have, uh, they they haven't shown the full uh, official artwork for Soul yet, have they? It's still to be to be announced. Yeah, that's no reason why I've just gone for the normal. As long as I've got normal, I mean, I've got every Disney classic that you can get in this country. I, I really want those uh, Disney Club ones. Like Kermit's got all of them, any. Mm -hmm. I don't want to pay for them. Did he say that he paid about 100 quid for one of them? Uh, cool yeah. Runnings, 120 quid. Jeez. So at least, at least spend well, that money. The thing is, if that's 120 quid he paid for it, the money's the price will probably go up. See what you don't know about. What you don't know about uh, Kermit is he he's like um, 006, not 007. He's he's about Rich. 006. <laughs> you know, he's, he's like an assassin. Don't <laughs> tell anybody. He's way too not to be an assassin. Next time, Blue Fish. I want to get host. I just come out, but I'll probably wait. Like get paid next month. But next big one is probably the Battle Royale box set, the new Arrow 4K release. It's probably <laughs> like, fun. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know what my next big purchase is. No, I just it's it's big ball there. you've done a few burps. Yeah, you know what it is? I apologize for we'll watching this. This is like your poor man's ant and deck with Stephen Mulhern. Okay, we, we won't get any better than this. I'm worried about who Stephen Mulhern is now. No, it's, it's Unbelievable. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm 100% ready for a meet up. I'll just let me know when this is over. By all means, Rob, I'm sure we'll do onto that. Uh, I need some more. What was your answer to your next plan purchase, Big Paulie? I didn't hear it. I don't really know. I don't really know at the moment. I don't think there's much out next week, so it's probably going to be the um, like the 4K Disney ones, mm. the animated ones. So one thing I've always wondered, because like you're monetized, aren't you? Yeah, that's why we get adverts. Uh, it's not something I'm allowed to do because well, well, I'm technically medically retired right now. But then, if I start earning money that way, then they'll it'll play havoc and shit with any money I get. But do you spend the majority? I don't know what kind of money you earn, but do you spend that money that you earn from your AdSense on movies, or do you? It goes into the movies during yeah. the month. Yeah. 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 So it helps fund. It helps fund. Whatever goes on the channel, really, but mm. also for my collection. Yeah, you, 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 you've got I mean, it's, already, nice, so. it's nice getting five grand a month from YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it okay. goes on, doesn't it go on views as opposed to subscribers, though? Is that right? You it, have yes, to have views, thousand, views, and thousand people, four thousand views yeah, a month, something like that, isn't it? You got nothing to worry yeah. about, Paul. You got you get shit like I get about. Well, I get about seventy thousand views a month, so it's not too bad. Oh, so nobody can catch up that. with William and he's nearly five million. I <laughs> swear he's flipping around. He's got to be. He must have opened a million accounts by himself and just watches them. I'm only joking, William. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> it's million Disney video. Jesus Christ, that's amazing. <laughs> it's right, still Bobby, going again. Yeah, isn't oh, it? I've I watched it. I must have watched that ten times myself. Which is, I'm watching Deadbeat TV show right now. I'm on season two. It's brilliant. Have you guys seen it? Would you recommend it as three seasons? I haven't. I haven't heard of it. Um, it. I've still got loads of my. I've got De De Doom Patrol to watch. I've got watch, uh, Watchmen series to watch. I've got Haunting Hill House to watch. I've got Lord Hannibal. I just haven't got the time, chance to get around. The only one I've actually watched. Uh, I watched bits of Bridgerton because the wife was watching it, but we'll quickly move past that. Um, and we are watching Cheat at the minute. That's on Netflix, which was on ITV a couple of years ago. And the only ones I watched that I binge watch is The Lost in Space on Netflix and The Boys. And what was another one that I binged recently? Um, oh, Karate, um, Cobra Kai. Um have you finished Cobra Kai yet, Paul? 
No, I haven't even started series two yet. Oh, okay. I need to watch uh, Karate Kid two and three first. Oh, you don't. <sighs> He just, I, I didn't bother. I just watched the first one, then watched them, and then Did you? it was done. I, people kept telling me to watch the other two films because they all make sense. Well, they have flashbacks oh. in them, so it kind of makes sense when you're watching them because it has flashbacks to the films. So I mean, Colin, you're not just arrived. Oh, right. Has he? Colin, oh. you're not. Yeah. Uh, shall we do Colin, my, you are we do my draw? What? Shall we do the draw yet? Uh, I tell you what, I'll do, I'll do one more question. How many tattoos have any of you got? Uh, got a tribal one there. A big tribal one on my arm. Leave the shirt on. Leave the shirt on. Yeah, but they're in the wrong places. I've got some Japanese shit there. And my missus... <laughs> He's going to drop his drop his gear in a minute. You've got a skull on got, your head here. And I got, What's on I've, your got arm, th- I've got a 30 centimetre ruler on the side of my cock. <laughs> Oh fuck's sake! Is that is that where we're going now? Is it? <laughs> I've, got, oh, I've got two. I've got oh, this one, which is the rebel tattoo with the you can't even see probably. Oh the cool! X wing in the Very middle. Nice. That's the door and then I've got this one, which says, uh, "I am one with the force. The force is with me." It's Arabesh, the Star Wars language. It says, I am one with the Force of Forces with me. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's the only two I oh. have. The only reason I got this, because I wanted to get one, and the wife went, you'll never go through with that. And then she actually purposely came and sat with me to see how long I would last. So I fucked it right off, because uh, I got it. I'm actually Amazing. unmarked. <laughs> I haven't got, got a face tattoo. in your ass. <laughs> he's he's gonna say something rub funny. Here. Rub here for sweeties. I might, I might have to get a daisy one actually. I my next one. I want to get, I want to get um that that language on here, with with the kids' names, uh, and then round here I want to get the Lord of the Rings Elvis writing for the ring from the Lord of the Rings. That's the only two. Yeah. I, want, I want to get a talking of ta- but, uh, talking of. Talking of tattoos, what has happened to old Tattoo Man in again Spider Geek? He's completely I, vanished. I don't follow him. Craig. Yeah, he's gone I, again, isn't he? Do you know Pete? He used to, be, yeah, he used to be Spider Geek, but he's come back and he was doing a horror collection, and all of a sudden he deleted all his videos again. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that. I saw, I saw the comeback, but then it just disappeared again. Oh, I know who you mean on Instagram. That fella. Yeah. Yeah, he said he was going to put them yeah. all up, didn't he, to sell? He's got tattoos all over up. his head and around his neck. And... Probably gone back inside. He's probably, from the ones I he's probably the most confident person I've ever seen on YouTube of all the ones that I watch, and obviously on Facebook. And he's very confident on Instagram, and he's very professional the way he does it. Because he, it's almost like he doesn't give a shit. He's just like, yeah, what? Right. Anyway, right, sorry. You can do the, the uh, prize draw if you want, Pete. Right. Suffice to say, Big Paul is not going to be included in this. <laughs> how many how many films have <laughs> you own? Shit, I really wanted those films. <laughs> right, so as we know, the prize is that. Now, 15 people got it right. So what I did, believe it or not, this is out of the fridge. And the answer was... A dual air desk holds 50 gigs. Some people said 6, some people said 112. Okay. So all the winners, or winners, well, we've got the question right, are right here. So someone tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, I've got one. Jordy Paul, thanks, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. I just screwed up bits of paper. You ready for this? <laughs> Sure. The winner is Jason Loverick. Jason Loverick. Do you know Jason, Loverick. Jason's, uh, Jason's mo- uh, Blu ray and movie channel. There we go. So well, 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 done. well done. I actually Jason. got a text from him this morning. He's sending me a parcel. So that means I've got to send one back now. Yeah. So you're the winner, dude. Thank you so much. 
Well done to everyone who actually got the question right. Thank you, that biker in there. So I hope you're sending me a big box because I'll, I'll send that back in the same box in. That'll save me some money, won't it? Are you going to um, are you going to send Paulie that scrubber? <laughs> yeah, I've got. Well, obviously, when you're not going to tell me your address uh, on the airways, I have to find out. I've got I've got a couple of bits I'm going to be sending you, but I, I haven't opened it. I haven't washed my own balls with it or anything. I just love that. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Oh, I don't know. That's coming very handy. Question from Keith. If anybody doesn't subscribe to Keith or Euphoria Pictures, by the way, please do so because he has got an amazing collection of busts and everything that he goes with. So subscribe to Euphoria Pictures and me and Beyonce yeah, Paulie. Um, what, is the, what is the best the worst movie you've ever as well? Yeah, you, you had a lot of Star Trek stuff as well, haven't you? Star Trek. What's the best worst movie What's you've the, ever what, seen? The best worst movie you've ever seen? Josie and the Pussycats. Yeah, that stinks. Still in the Innkeepers, I think that the film sucks ass so much, it's not even worth the plastic is in. No, but what Keith's asking is it's a shit film, but you enjoyed it. That's the question. Any Nicolas Cage film? Um. I think Face Off is a turd, but I still watched it twice. Face Off is good. Yeah, Nicolas Cage, The Colour Out of Space. I'm seen I that really one. enjoyed that, even though it was a quite a dull you know, film. But you know, I've seen yeah. Next about twenty times. I don't know why I've watched that one so much. I I'll, I'll have to see using the Pussycats because it's an awful battleship. film. But I don't it. Yeah, Battleship. You suck my Battleship. What was people, that out of? People shit all over Battleship, but it's an enjoyable film. I've got it as a normal steelbook and 4K. Of course you do. <laughs> Is that all? Yeah. Well, I didn't want it 3D, but it's not in 3D, so. Best cowboy film? Unforgiven. City Slickers. City Slickers. Unforgiven. City Slickers oh, too. Yeah. Uh, Unforgiven. By the way, City Slickers 2 is getting a Blu-ray release. Although, I'm going to put my reputation out of limb here, but I do like uh, the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. I do like that one. Which Never is probably the longest it. title. It's I do got it. Brad Pitt and Casey Affleck in it. It's a good mm. film. I enjoyed that. It's a long film, but it's good. Open, I like I Open like... Range. The Range? Not, no, not the shop. The open range. Open range, yeah. Kevin Costner. I said I don't like I the thought, range. Yeah. The work I, from. <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about the animated. Isn't a Disney one called the open range? Not open range. Is it? No, could be wrong. Um, but you've no, got um, no, the range. Maybe. You're thinking. I think it's just called the range. The animated one. Dance, dances with wolves as well as a good one. Home on the range. Dances you're wolves, talking. Yeah. You're talking home on the range. <laughs> Roseanne Barr's the voice of the cow. Why has nobody said Brokeback Mountain? There's a pain in the arse. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have to say uh, Unforgiven or The Good, The Bad, The Ugly or the whole trilogy of The Man With No Name, a, a great westerns. I, I love all those. Um, the Magnificent Seven remake was all right as well. I enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, got Cowboys that, vs. Aliens. Okay as well, and normal. I would just say the best western is probably anyone, Cowboys, anyone with Clint Eastwood in it because he is the godfather of them. True. What is better? Could you, could, could, you squeeze, could you squeeze, hang on, could you squeeze Back to the Future 3 in on that lot, do you think? Yes, you can. Good. Well, I'll, I'll go with that then. Okay. Which is better, Suicide Squad, what? Birds of Prey, or the Harley Quinn animated one? Suicide Squad. I'd say Suicide yeah, Squad because I haven't seen the yeah. animated oh, one and I. And I I, I had no problem with um, Jared Leto's Joker. I had no problem with it at all. Yes, I prefer Heath Ledger and but and Joaquin Phoenix, but I thought he had he actually did a good job. Mm. So what if people shit all over me? <laughs> so I, until I watched that Joker with um, Joaquin Phoenix, I didn't understand all the hype behind it. But when you actually see how much he delved into that, 
and the way his body looked and the, his mannerisms, he just killed mm. it. I haven't been that impressed by somebody for quite a while. But that, that was amazing. Has to be said. I mean, Heath Ledger, best best Joker ever, in my opinion. But, man, that was close. Yeah, I would agree with that. You know, but Cesar Romero is clearly the best Joker ever. The fact he had his tash painted over white shows his dedication to the role. Mm. If you want to play different Jokers, didn't they? Sure. Uh, What's your favourite black and white movie? Schindler's List. Mm. Or Mad Max Piano. Edition. What, I can called? only say all the Nolan Hardy films. Yeah, what's that one? Is it called The Piano? And they're trying to get the piano up the stairs. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I do enjoy that one. But Schindler's List. Uh, I haven't watched... Go, um, guys, my audio, my audio might drop out in a minute. How come? Because uh, I've got an iPod earphones message saying that I've got about 2% left. So I right. might have to ditch them and listen. Okay. Air, but what time do you want to be on to the iPod? Have, you got, anything, have you got a limit until you want to go? No, no, I don't, I don't need to go. I'm just going to... Hang on. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah, it's all right. Is there any... Are we, are we no just strange? Or did say? you enjoy watching him fiddle then? No, I charged my bloody earpods up this morning and it says I've only got 2% left. Bloody apple. <laughs> there you go. Keith's put, I can only do a pop quick, uh, quick pop in, uh, but I have to admit, I thought it was very entertaining. Well done to you all. Well, thank you very much. That's what we're here. Yeah, as soon as I'm off uh, this, I'll be... Uh... Subscribing to him. Have you not, have you not subscribed you, to Keith? Have you not? Huh? Not subscribed to Keith before? I don't think I have actually. I don't remember, but I'll definitely make sure I am. And James says we'll cheer him up. Uh, I recommend those Japanese Godzilla films. Oh, Jason, you love Godzilla. If any biggest fan, yeah. if I've got any questions about Godzilla, I'm in a pub quiz or like who wants to be a millionaire and phone your friend for a Godzilla question. I'm ringing Jason. I don't have his number. Uh, would you ever take part in a movie quiz? I'll be up for that anytime. I'll probably fail miserably, but uh, yeah, I'll that. give it a go. We need Big Paulie as the host on a ten-person version of this. Imagine the chaos. <laughs> right, what else we got? Got to go through other questions. Views and Pan's Labyrinth. I enjoyed it. I've only seen it once. Underrated. Yeah, I've only seen it once, but I enjoyed it. Hmm. Have you watched Bait? That, that's a black and white film, the BFI one, the one about the fishing fishing guy. I haven't watched that. No. Oh. Nope. Okay. Uh, Toby's in. Do you like watching series like South Park, Family Guy, American Dad, and The Simpsons? Family Guy, Dad, American Dad, and The Simpsons. Yes. South Park. I've always been a bigger South Park fan than anything. I've always been a massive Futurama fan. I don't know why. Uh, they they need to rescan all of those and get them out all out on bloody Blu-ray. What? Which ones? All of it. Family Guy's not. I've got a box set. Family Guy, I want the 14 up there. I haven't watched any of them. There's an interesting question for you, if if that ever came up on a um, quiz. How many times did they kill Kenny in South Park? It's 155 <laughs> times, isn't it? <laughs> Too a many. lot, a lot. It's a, I'm, this is how far behind him. Carl, we should put time stamps on here so you know how far you're behind. Carl, do you anyway? Hi, Carl. Hello, Hello, Carl. Hello fella. Or should I say, Hello! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to have you on my streams at some point. Uh, uh, what else we got? Hi, hi Gary. What's your favourite Arrow title? The Thing. Thing. Yeah, definitely The Thing. 16 Candles. <laughs> Honestly. I'm a romantic. What can I say? <laughs> What's the worst Arrow release? I don't know. The thing with Arrow is I think it's hit and miss because a lot of films on there aren't for me. Like the, the slasher stuff and the early 80s yeah. stuff. And it's not my cup of tea. I'm only, you I know, mean, I've got a few and I saw them. Uh, I've still got quite a few. The majority of ones I get are limited edition ones. A lot, a lot, like, 
A lot of those Arrow ones that I've bought, I haven't got around to watching yet. So for all I know, they could be a right load of old turds. Well, exactly. You, you don't know that. <laughs> well, they're Arrow doing that channel, haven't they? So you can watch them. The only problem with the Arrow channel I have a problem with is the fact that it's only on your phone or your tablet. And you've got to kind of stream it to your telly. As opposed oh, to with right. my 4K, you've got like the Apple... Oh yeah, that reminds me. You should be able to do my Apple US release, by the way. I know I gave you the code last time and you forgot and you couldn't figure it out. I tried on my dad, so you should be able to do it, but I know you've got loads of movies to do anyway. Oh really? Oh okay. What's that? that? Who's that? Yeah. That's my missus. All right. No, it's not blind I, date, son. Like, I want a romantic. <laughs> Just certainly ain't me fucking looks. <laughs> it's your Blu-ray collection. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Gets all the ladies. If I kick the bucket to my yeah, all of this will be going out the window. There's <laughs> a park a skip outside, and everything's going straight out the window, apparently. She hates it. But the thing is, though, it's something that you enjoy, just as long as you make sure that you keep it within the affordability of it, really. Yeah, I think I'm I sold quite a lot of my 4Ks to pay off our credit card, which gave me um, 4K telly. That's the thing, you've got, you got, you got to be able to sacrifice. Like, you know, if Big Paulie was ever in dire straits, he, I imagine you wouldn't, you would sell off what you would want to survive, like anybody should do, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Just as that happens that your collection is worth a shitload more money than mine, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the, the biggest part of my collection, value wise, has got to be the blue fans. You know, even oh, though yeah. they're opened, some of them are probably worth about 100 each. Shit, I yeah. should have said that, should I? Remember to write that down, Paul. When we, when we down. Serving, make sure the right one's to grab. You can his address later, please. <laughs> well, easy now. That's what she said. That's another story. <laughs> I, thought that, I thought that rain scrubber fall. Here's a good question for you, Big Paulie. How many movies do you have? Uh, Christ. Well, obviously nowhere near Pete and Kermit. Um... I'm going to beat Kermit. I'm, I will. You know what? I've never I die. actually counted them. I don't keep track of them on Blu-ray.com or anything like that. I really I really couldn't give you a ballpark, ballpark number. It's got to be between 1,000 and 2,000. But I have no Yours idea. is more quality than quantity, then. Mine's every piece of shit going. <laughs> yeah, well, I had to deliver me a Power the Duck the other day on Steelbook. Yeah, me too. I don't see the fascination with that. I don't think I've ever seen it. I don't either. I've got it normal. It's supposed to be crap. I've never yeah, seen I've it. I've got it normal. It's crap. But it's just one of those things. It's like, I'm in my head, if it's a weird title, I want it just because of the title. Oh, there's, you... the bullshit. there's one coming out called The Bullshit Brothers or something. I roll that just because it says bullshit in the title. <laughs> it's just weird. Uh... What I am. Uh, Jason's favourite cowboy movie is The Two Mules for Sister Sarah. It's again, Eastwood, told you, can't go wrong. Um, Brimstone is an outstanding lesson with Guy Pierce in it. Uh... My other half likes that time machine one with Guy Pierce. Yeah, I, I actually enjoyed that. It's not a bad film. Have you ever seen what a midnight seen... screening at the cinema? Oh, sorry, go on. We'll go that in a minute. Yeah, for. Um... Oh shit! What's the what's the witch in the woods? You never bloody see in not coming out of nose. Flower huh? project. Yeah, I was one of the first two hundred people in the country to see it on the on its premiere down here, um, and at the end nobody moved, nobody got up or anything. It's really weird atmosphere, and <laughs> then you get interviewed by the papers outside. It's really weird. I do, I've never been to a um, midnight screening, never. Yeah, I've been to, um, I did Rogue One, um, Fast and the Furious, Fast and the Furious 7 was a weird one, because when the football came up at the end, uh, there was just women love sobbing, the end of that. sobbing everywhere. The end of that, yeah, when yeah. they the cars part at the end, that's amazing. Love yeah. That music. yeah, I love it. And uh, mainly Star Wars, I've done the midnight ones from the last couple of Star Wars films. Yeah, I've, I've got, I've got to decide at the moment. All uh, the majority of the Fast and the Furious are on 4K on Zavi for a tenner a piece because it's two for 20 at the moment, but they haven't got all of them. Do I buy that, which adds up to 60 quid, or do I get the box set 
which is Digibook, for 50. So I'm not a, I'm not a fan of Digibooks of multiples of films like that. I got rid of yeah. my first three Avengers because of that, but I don't want to pay that much for it because I've got more in Steelbook and everything already. I picked up the eight, the, the 4K Fast and Furious 8 movie collection. That yeah. Was about, that was about, I think, about 50 quid. Yeah, I mean, I've got I've got number eight on 4K. I don't know why I got it separate. I think it cost me pennies, but it's just oh, too many problems, I mate. I don't <laughs> own any of the Fast and the Furious movies, especially the ones with with the rocking. No, oh, especially the ones with the rocking. <laughs> if you look at my eBay account tonight, you'll see the movie returns going on. I'm telling you, I'm not having the rock in my library. No, it's not happening. Tokyo Drift a pile of shit. Uh, well, have we got any more questions? Uh, oh, yeah, Keith. Tell you, totally, Keith's amazing collection. Um, uh, do, 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 checking Kenny dies 126 times. 126 oh, times. There you go. Nothing like a lot of child murder, eh? <laughs> have any of you guys seen the film The Challenge with Scott Glenn? No, no, no. Is that Scott Glenn who was uh, that bird's no, dad no. in Greenland? Yes. I thought Scott Glenn was an astronaut. Same name, different person. <laughs> Which currently produces the best editions. I don't, I don't own any blue fans or anything like that myself. Yeah, personally. that's a big bully question, that. Yeah, definitely blue fans for lenticulars. They're out of this world. They shit all over Zavi's lenticulars. Yeah. But um, HDZ to do quite a few, and Mantelabs as well. They do some really good lent lents. Pop me look at yeah. a question before, and I'm going to go back to it because I'm wondering why I skipped it. I'll tell you why. It's because there's that many ones coming in. Here we go. I watched White Boy Rick last at Netflix. It's really good. Have you side guys seen it? If so, what are your thoughts on it? It's with, with Matthew McConaughey, guys. I haven't. I heard of it, but I have not seen it. No, I haven't. White Boy Rick. Yeah, I've heard of it, but not watched it. Actually, I've got a question. This is. Hang on, let, me, let me just click on something and come up again. There we go. Your old channel was called Cuds and Drips. Is that right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Where, yeah. Is that the right name? Is that? Is that? Have I said it right? That used to be called Cuds and Drips. Yeah. So where did that name come from? Um. It, you really want to know? That sounds weird. <laughs> there was. Uh, we had two cats. Uh, my brother dumped two cats on us. One of them was Bobby that died last two years ago the ginger one we had a big old black one before that really hefty thing and he would come running in from the back door jump up on my lap and jump up on my chest and he would be dribbling everywhere so yeah. and i would be stroking him so it was cuddles and drips so it okay. was just a funny little pet thing that we had called cuds and drips there you go i've just that was just for your own personal it question it wasn't as filthy as you thought hey Pete. Yeah. I said that wasn't as filthy as you thought. Do you want to bet? I I had stroke, drip, pussy. I mean, Christ, how many morphine? <laughs> Wet. Uh, <laughs> there's, wait, there's so many setups there. I, I thought I'd better shut up. <laughs> Real Wonder Woman 84, HMV Sue, so didn't realise first is limited to 4,000 copies. Do you think it will sell out? Ooh, yep. I did not know that. Probably. Just like that Bill and Ted one. That pissed yeah. me off, I did. That, that'll, like I said on the last live stream, there's got to be when HV opens up, they must have some of those in stock in the, in the shop, mm. so I would have thought. Unless, but then again, did it, did it get released during the, did it got released during this current during lockdown? During the lockdown, so they, yeah, so the shops wouldn't have been open, but they might have held back some stock, maybe for the shops. Go on. So that's me going straight to HV opening day, get 300 copies of that and sell them for 100 quid each on the shop. Online. And that's how you make your money. <laughs> Yeah, that's what Big Paulie does. He ruins it. What was that? What was that orange box that you did? You got two and sold them on and like doubled your money and. Oh yeah, the um, Vincent Price box set. Yeah, you almost yeah, buy one get one three, and then and then uh, CEX were giving like seventy quid or eighty quid for it. Yeah, you did it twice, didn't you? Well, yeah, got about hundred and thirty quid credit. Yeah, and then, and then the door slammed on everyone else. You saw the posture drop like a stone. <laughs> it's like Big Paulie got in there, but he didn't publish it on YouTube after he did yeah. it. Yeah, you know? and if you go on CEX's website, I think that the, the store where I sold them both still has one copy, and I think they're selling it for about 15 quid. <laughs> Losers. 
you know, you know that you uh, tra- you, you trade in too much shit when you actually go onto CDX and focus on a store. You know, you can focus on the store nearest, yeah. Yeah. And I'm going from high price to low price, and about a fifth of what's in the actual store stock is mine. <laughs> Stuff that I've <laughs> traded in. But my empire strikes back. Yeah, my empire strikes back. Uh, still book, still sat in there. Because I, I, I managed to get uh, one for like eight quid and then slapped it all into the steelbook and sold it on for 30, you know. <laughs> but half the stuff that I've traded in is still in there. Mm. Is this your meeting here, Pete, John? Yeah, after some tough days at work, I always enjoy Pete cursing about the government. Keep it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't get me started on the government. Uh, you don't want to politicize this channel, I'll tell you. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, an, I'm an easy person to live with, but when you have stupid people making stupid decisions, it makes me get angry. You know, like um, it's half term, so my daughter gets ten pounds from the government to feed her this week, and fifteen pounds about. When they're on ninety grand and they're getting twenty five pounds a day allowance, it makes me mad because our children aren't even in their radar. You know, um, unless you're on universal credit, which I am not, I didn't get the extra twenty pounds a week. Like every, all the other people did, you know, it's things like that that annoy me. It's like if you're going to give extra money to people who need it, make sure everyone gets it. And there's always an excuse. And there's, I mean, people, you know, you 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 work, you work. Yes, I can't work at the moment, but the way I see it is, your taxes are getting pissed away on so many things, and there's no there's no uh, recourse back to them. I mean, they've wasted sixteen billion on on. Um, PPI that we can't use. Who's going to be paying for that? I mean, all our council taxes are going up minimum 5%. Why? We're not the ones who bought it up. They are. They should be losing their jobs. They should be losing their pensions because of it. Plus, there was about 40 billion odd that went missing, didn't it, for the furlough? Yeah. Do you know, there was a, there was one company uh, got 120 million help from the government a day later, they paid the main CEO fifty million in share up in share in share um, um, awards. Fifty million quid after taking one hundred twenty million from the government the next day. This is the kind of shit that needs to stop. Yeah. Put SH put SH two into mothballs. We haven't got one hundred twenty billion to build a train set. It, it, it's like not the average man on the street. Me, you two, we don't matter, and that's what it winds me up. It really does. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, there are servants. Yet, four years to sort out Brexit, the people wanted Brexit. It seems like that. I mean, I, I try not to talk about it too much because this, you know. But, I'll just say that I voted against Brexit, just saying. I, that's, your, that's your personal opinion. Yeah, I respect your personal opinion. But to be democratic, if, if I'd lost, I wouldn't be bitching about it. But I didn't. No, exactly. Of course, we get I no, voted I get to leave. I get I get fallout now in in Ashford because you know we've yeah. got these new lorry parks built and it's just lorry after lorry blocking you in and there's going to be like five thousand lorries coming out of this big lorry park yeah and uh, it's going to be havoc with uh, traffic eventually. The big problem with the government is they think we're thick as shit. Twenty years ago, yeah, I could be blaring on about something you wouldn't understand, you wouldn't understand because you don't know the insides of it. Like, when I was with the banking, I was part of the banking team that bought um, Chip and Pin into the country, yeah? When the paper said, oh, they went for the seventh cheapest option, that's true. We recommended the second most expensive, but they totally disregarded everything we said. We were the experts, but they disregarded it all and went for the seventh cheapest option. Your money is so open, you have got not, not got a clue. Oh, and... Uh, Royal Bank of Scotland, yeah, it is one for you. Royal Bank of Scotland, there's 250 billion of toxic debt that has not been made public. Beat that. I've got We're a liable for it. wallet. Yeah, well, they'll take that off you quick enough. <laughs> Publicly, we are liable for another 250 billion of toxic debt with RBS, and yet they've been given out dividends and stuff. It's not been made public, but I know about it. So if anybody's so tuning anybody in now, in that was a partly political broadcast on behalf of the Peter yeah. Society. Oh, the burning wanker in the big app, but I can do it because I'm six foot six. So there yeah. you go. Right, I'll just quickly move on. What do uh, you mean, though, about getting me political? See, <laughs> see you did. Paul, I ordered night, night, night girl day before you said it was on Netflix. Oh. Sorry. But yeah, was that's what I saw. 
Did you say yours when you did your review? Did you say it was on Netflix? Uh, I yeah, I actually I think I mentioned it was on Netflix on the day I reviewed it. Right. Because I've told me I've told Lulu about it, so I think she's going to watch it. I think I saw. It's supposed to be good then. It's a really good film. It's fucking brutal though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. See, none of that affected me. I mean, like no. you said in your video, you, you've seen a lot worse. I've seen a lot worse. I mean, the human centipede's worse than that. And, yeah. Um, but, um, I mean, there are, like, I spit on your grave and things like that are a lot worse than Nightingale. Um, but, yeah, I, I think, think it I, affected I, Jamie quite quite badly because I think he, tur- he had to turn it off a few times. Right. I, I didn't He's have a sensitive problem, little boy, though, isn't he? <laughs> we love him. Oh, yeah, I've just had an update. Talking of movies and TV, I've just had an update email come through saying that my Harley Quinn season one and two is has been shipped on Blu-ray. No Didn't even know it been released. So that's good. Yeah, I got it on uh, eBay. I think it's the US release, but they're okay. releasing seasons one and two together. Nice. Uh, right, oh, I've got loads here. Uh, what we got? Do any of you guys know of these films? The Shadow, yes, because it's got Baldwin guy in it. Uh, the Phantom, mm-hmm. yes, because it's got uh, Kelly Brooks' ex Billy Zane in it. And The Rocketeer is one of my all time favourite. I love that. I've got the Steel Book of the Rocketeer. I love yeah. that movie. I don't own Dalton. any of those, but I would get The Rocketeer when I get a chance. I, the Rocketeer, I've got the Phantom the... and The Rocketeer, both classic films. I've probably only seen The Shadow maybe twice, but I don't own it. That is bold. Yeah, is it Phantom's bold? on the old HMV premiere as well, so I'd probably get it as part yeah. of that. I don't just come think out. I've ever seen the Phantom. Yeah, Rocketeer is uh, a classic film. I love the Rocketeer. Do you collect is collect too much and watch too little, and do you think this will ever be addressed? Uh, I Absolutely. personally think I buy things on release day, but I don't watch until two years later. At which point, they're probably <laughs> five pounds. Yeah, that's a big problem, isn't it? We buy and we buy and we collect and we hardly watch anything. Well, I yeah, but until until you're smashing it with a sledgehammer and snorting it up your nose, I'm not going to worry. <laughs> yeah, if I want it, I'll get it. I keep getting if... moaned at. Why don't you watch some of the stuff you buy? <laughs> Jason's movie collection is the king on trading for CXs. Some great tips on what he picks up from charity shops. Great channel. Oh, Jason. Oh, we should have a look at that then. That might be good. Yes, it is up. a great channel, but I must defend movie mad. If there's one person that's buggered CX's bottom line, it's him. Yeah, yes. this is true. It, um, it was Movie Man that actually Movie Mad, sorry, that actually put me onto the Vincent Price collection. Yeah. 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 It was me who got you the Jurassic Park 4K trilogy. Mm. That's true. I'm mad, isn't I it? think my impact when I first came on your channel was to watch, and then I thought because it didn't want me channel, I'm just putting all these posts on because I'm connected to um hot UK deals, so everything comes through. Uh, or from other big Facebook channels, and I just post them straight on for people to get them. The same with Cinema DCO. So I keep an eye on that. I've got a, a notification in my eBay app. So whenever they go down and price new ones go on, I put it straight on. Um, mm. but yeah, I, like, I like getting people, other, as long as I get it first, I get people deals as well. That, that's yeah. why I enjoy, I enjoy spreading the joy so other people can have um, as much debt as I do. I'll tell you, tell you one <laughs> thing I want to say is uh, a belated. Well done to Big Paulie on his uh, Facebook forum because over a thousand people on it, isn't there now? Yeah. Yeah. And to me, that's an amazing achievement in itself. But the amount of people you engage in that week in, week out, that just shows the quality of what you do. And no great really does. No, let's not talk about uh, her stroke, she. <laughs> um, I'll tell you yeah. what, it's. Um, the only thing I've noticed, which kept gets repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated on your Facebook group, is um, why have you only got so many admins when you've got so many subscribers? That yeah, seems to uh, be a question that pops up all the time because that's you know you're at work, Jamie's at work, Rob's there. So it's Jamie, Rob, and yourself, isn't it? Ja- Jamie, Rob, and me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I never, th- I never thought about getting it any more in the past, but uh, you know, as the uh, the people go up, you know, the number of people in it, then I should uh, probably get another couple of people. I'm the admin so, on but I'm if, if mad anybody wants to volunteer to be a mod. <laughs> thing is, though, um, see, if, if I was to put my name forward, I think I'm too... I'll tell people how it is. 
So if they, if they say something, I'll be like, right, you're a dick. Well, but don't mind that because that's because Rob's been like that. Yeah, and you know, especially when it comes to you know some certain people kicking up a stink, he would ban them just like that. So I trust, mm. I trust Rob, and I trust Jamie. Yeah, exactly. Remember, remember those two little those two little baskets? Oh, yes. Do you remember my little rant afterwards when he he threatened me and told me to fuck off? Yes. Yeah, so I said, I, I know, uh, forget. I know where you. Well, I've got his address. I know where you live. I'll come up there and I'll kick the shit out of you, you mouthy little bastard. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, I'm, 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 I'm yeah. I tell you, what, I'm probably most famous for on your Facebook group is the one person who goes on there and tells people who have wrestling posts to do one. <laughs> I tell you, I'm probably the most famous one. Oh, it'll pay per view tonight. I don't care. It's not a film. And I had a massive rant with somebody. I, I think one of the, the the people that get the most, well, I don't say feedback, but criticism, is the one that posts the most female posts. There's Brie Larson that, uh, Gal Gadot that, comparison between the two women. He I've loves seen that. He loves his women actresses in that. I haven't seen that one. I have to look that one up. Yeah, look the that thing one is up. as well though. Just... The best thing about the channel is you've got these little people in there who, who because they post so much. Like, like for me, it's like I put deals on there, I put my videos on there. Now I don't like the wrestling, and then you've got um, Jamie with all his masterpieces, which is brilliant. I love that. You've got James coming in now with his questions every day. Um, you've got Rob yeah, with all his that. stuff. Yeah, but there's, there's little people in there who obviously you've got a thousand or odd people who are on there. But you still have people who like pop their head up now and again, like little meerkats, so you know that they're still there because they've got their own individual little things, uh, which is quite funny. I enjoy that stuff. As, as much as Jamie loves Dark Knight and he thinks it's a masterpiece, I just love the fact. And this is no dig at Jamie's watching it, not having a dig at it. I think it's great that you think that's a masterpiece and you've got your own kind of catchphrase now, which is really good. Which I've well done my last I think, he's having, I think he's having a dig at you. We'll take him out together, yeah? <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my god, I don't know. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, we've, got, we've got 31 people watching, not many people questions. Pete, here, Pete, could you lend him a couple of quid? I need the bus. Do you know this, Andrew Berry? <laughs> <laughs> could I lend him a couple of quid? Ooh. You, you can have this You can have this bank card. It's, it's, my, it's my dead mum's one, but so there's nothing in it. <laughs> Brilliant. There's a morbid thought. Cheers for that. <laughs> Went downhill, didn't it? What's the cheapest Blu-ray you ever picked up? Uh, 20p. Uh, Devil's Double. I bought Just Bobby Robson's. Blu-ray. Bobby Robson's one. Managerial one for about £1.50, I think. But I never have anything. Dance not very good for charity shops and things like that for all Blu-rays. I really enjoyed it. I was in one below and they were selling all their Christmas shit off for 50p, but this was up at a pound. I actually talked them down to 50p. I can't believe you bought that. Then again, you bought the BG, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with the BGs. <sighs> again, here, yeah, Steve's back again. Not much of it. I hate, I hate the reprinted covers. I mean, if I went, the thing is with oh, CX, it's a niche market, isn't it? So it's for Blu ray people's DVD. But why would you go and want to buy the disc with a reprinted cover? It just does not make any sense. Well, it's because some stuff's nicked out of the shop. Yeah. I got Pacific then, Rim bought for them and I had to take it. Of, of these sleeves as well, anyway. Is that? You know, they could put some effort into them. Reprinted copy. <laughs> I, I, had, I, had, I had to take Pacific Rim back because it was just awful. But... Is it? Is it still illegal though? No, where they put that cover printed on the front, uh, that technically doesn't make it illegal. There are some copyright issues, but it's a sketchy area. But as long as they put that on there, they're not going to get it done. That's what pisses me off now is because I put a sticker, for God's sake, oh, and peel it off, you know? Yeah. Mind you, that, that, that sticker is a whole other subject. Yeah, I heard that, Jason. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I saw that. We give all our slips to, to CES and they just sling them. I don't know why, because a lot of people want to keep them. I don't, at least they recycle them, but I don't understand why they'll get rid of the slips. I mean, what is the big problem with CX except the slips? William, William, uh, the Blu-ray DVD collector, found that out when he took something into them uh, to trade in, and he saw them just throw it in the bin, and he questioned them about it, and they told him, now nah, we don't bother with them, we don't keep them. 
I've never seen him do that my my area. All, all, all I can't the stuff say I have. Into, no, no. And his slips in my CX. Yeah. Thing is as well, we see if they're going to do that, and surely one of the employees will be will think, "Hang on a minute, I've seen them being sold on eBay. Can I have them?" And they'll be like, "Yeah, well, we're not going to use them, and you can make a bit of money on the side." Mm. Well, bear with me, lads. Euphoria pictures says subscribe to me, so I'm going to go straight back and do that to him while we're online. I'm already subscribed to him. Thank you, Euphoria. I'm already subscribed. Yes, Keith. Keith from Northern Ireland. That's oh, the best thing. What? Man, he's got some figures. Damn. Who? Who? You, euphoria Keith. pictures. He's got 400 odd subscribers, is that what you mean? 486, yeah. Yeah. They're good videos as well. Thing is, as well, when I started doing this channel, I started off with two other people that I knew at the time. Not knew at the time, but knew, and then I realized we both started at the same time was Keith at Euphoria Pictures and then John at Mondo Chalavet Movies. Now, John mm. Mondo Chalavet lives around the corner from my parents, which is ironic. Um, and, and Keith, now he's got four, they've all got 400, and I've just hit 200. But I think because they've got a niche market with what they've kind of shown on their things, whereas I'm not. Um, and I don't really go out and do the whole in the shops kind of videos because I don't have the confidence to do that. Maybe in a couple of years I might do that. I was in Asda today and I thought, oh, I might do it. Then I realized that Asda was shit and they didn't have anything in there. Right, um, I, did a vid I did a video a couple of years ago, two, I think it was two years ago. Um, what happened to your favorite YouTubers? It's probably in my playlist, but I'm doing mm. a second part to that of what happened. Um, YouTubers I miss that I used to watch. Yeah, Blu ray King. Still don't know what's happened to him. Yeah. Someone oh. said he's in prison. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> was it you? Yeah, come to the conclusion because yeah, I'm not getting anything from him on the Facebook page or nothing because, you know, we, we kept in touch, but he just literally disappeared. So there's, there's a couple of other really great Blu ray, Blu -ray uh, hunters that I used to watch as well. So i tell you who I like, yeah. which you've probably all heard of, is Brass Tax. Yeah. I love I like Brass Tax. He used to do it, didn't he? He used to do it on camera. But, yeah, and then no, he, he doesn't. doing it, yeah. Yeah, because the thing is with him, he must have a lot of subscribers, because he does um, live videos with um, Spare, uh, Spare Change, change you now. Yeah. yeah, but he doesn't do a video. He only comes in an audio as well, doesn't he? Mm. I like spare change. I love the fact that they just review the picture, which is all you want, really, because the film could be absolutely atrocious. Because when people say to me, what's the best 4K you own, what's the best picture quality you own, I always say Gemini Man, because it is. But it's not the best of films to watch. I mean, yeah. I enjoy it, but the picture mm -hmm. quality on that is, is second to none, as far as I'm concerned. If someone came to me and said, throw me on a 4K picture, which is really good, I'll put that straight on, especially with the higher frame rate. Um, but that's what spare change do. And why am I giving the chat with a spare change when they've got a shitload more subscribers than me? So if you get more and you're watching this spare change, it's because of me. All right, thanks. He's he's got like sixty or seventy thousand, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. There's quite a few. Oh. There's other guy who does it in his basement. I've forgotten his name though. Um, he does reviews. Uh, do, do have you subscribed to um, Adam the Woo? Who? Who? Yeah, all right. So that's my dad. <laughs> all right. Hello, Dad. Tell him. Um, What's up? Adam the Woo. He, he's, Adam uh, he's the in, Woo? Yeah, so what he does, he started up his, his own channel, and then um, he goes and does filming locations. So he did the Blair Witch, he's done Dawn of the Dead, and he and he lives in Florida and, and Los Angeles, and he does tours and everything. You know, people who go into, like, um, conventions and museums, and he does road trips. And, yeah, he's really Adam the Woo was the first YouTuber I ever properly subscribed to. Wow. So if you're watching this as well, Adam, that's because of me. And he sells this stuff on eBay, and they go for a lot of money. Um, right, hang on. Oh, I did it wrong. Here we go. Well, I've got some what was Daily Woo? Is that him? Yes, that's him. Yeah, yeah. He's got a picture of a guy who shades like a cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll subscribe to him. Uh, oh, hang on, Poppy. You've got another question. Let me find it. There's loads of questions coming in. Here we go. I got from hell with good old Johnny Depp. Have any of you seen it? If so... Is there any good guys about but yes i have seen in uh from hell it was one of the first region one dvds like dvds i got imported i think it was from wow hd not wow hd cd wow um i enjoyed it yeah it's good it's obviously all around jack the ripper um and i would give it at least a seven out of ten so there you go never Sorry, seen it i keep it's worth a watch i think it's on prime i'm not too sure 
Have you seen the Vengeance trilogy? No. I have well, got Old Boy to watch. The um, Vengeance trilogy is, is Old Boy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got. I I I have to hold my hand up. I've only seen the Josh Brolin version of Old Boy. I haven't seen the original one, so I need to watch that. Um, so if nobody's watched it. I can tell you what happens. Nothing <laughs> to that one, which is a bit because it's got um, here from One Divisions in the end. I forgot her name now. Um, what's the actress called who plays Wonder? Elizabeth Olsen. That's it. Yeah, she's in the end. Uh, does anybody remember Ms. Ms. Paul? Ms. Paul. No. I, you know, I, know I, read that, I thought, is that the guy who sang that thing about the yellow digger with his dad? But that's something else, isn't it? <laughs> is that Ms. Lopey? That's right, Ms. Lopey, I think. Would you ever do a public hunting videos for media? No, James, but if you follow Horror and Todge, uh, Tony of Horror and Todge, he's done all that. He's really good at doing I would. that. That's what... I definitely would. I was thinking about doing that before the, the pandemic hit, but... Uh... I wouldn't mind going to court, but the thing is, though, it, it, I think it depends on the locality, because mm. Dalton's a bit crap. If I still live back home in Whitley Bay, I can go all the ones in Newcastle and North Tyneside, but Dalton's not very good. Yeah, uh, I have some big ones. I have some big car boots around my area, so when it when things start getting back to normal, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really hoping to get out there. Mm. What do you think to a movie quiz? Tell you what, James, if you create a stream yard, and you want to do it live? I'm up for going on to do a to do a movie quiz for you. Whether these two guys do or not, or whether it'll probably be all around dates and times, etc. The only time, reason I'm doing it at four o'clock today is because the kids aren't here. Was normally it has to be a half past eight on the Sunday um, evening because not. But yeah, and if I'm you work, want to, and I'm working Sunday as well, so I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, and slowly but surely we're going to take over Big Paulie's uh, four o'clock segment on Sunday, and we're going to get him pushed off YouTube. Never yeah. happen. <laughs> you'll, be do you'll be doing your live one on Sunday and go, and here's Ant and fucking Deck or two little dicky birds sitting on the wall, one named Peter, one named Paul. Yeah. So I used to do <laughs> I used to do the streams a lot later. You know, I used to do them at six o'clock, six until eight. But that was before my mum died. And now, you know, I like to be downstairs with Dad in, in the evening watching some TV and keeping him company. So that's why yeah. I do them earlier now. That's understandable. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing my first solo live one tomorrow with um, Lucas from who's the filmmaker? Oh wow, filmmaker! Uh, yeah, he, I, I messaged him because he he messaged me on one of my videos, or I think it was the the one I mean Pete did, um, our first one, or one of my videos, and he said, yeah. "Oh, I'm never can't believe I've met caught up with you on the on YouTube before." And I was like, "All right, yeah, do you want to do a live one?" He said, "Yeah." So I'm doing it tomorrow with him at seven o'clock. I've kind of done like this one, and then tomorrow's. Midweek because I'm off and the kids aren't here, and so yeah. I should be spending some quality time with the wife. And so I'm speaking to more or less complete strangers on a live stream, going out to all 28 it, to 40 people. It, he's really good on camera. He's really good. He's re really focused, and he's got a lot of confidence. Yeah, and he's got a lot of boutique film yeah. knowledge. Yeah. Where so so when I have a word when I when I go live with him tomorrow, it's going to be a bit weird because I'm very much. It is 90s kind of yeah. movies, whereas he's very much Criterion Collection. Yeah, he's, he's the person you know, to go, isn't he? He's the person to go to if you want to know what Criterion's out. Yeah, exactly. And also, um, what's the other guy? There's another guy who's really good with all the Criterion stuff. Um, I forgot his name, though. Is he with a beard, glasses and, and the beard? glasses? Yeah. I forgot his name, though. He's, 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 no. But he's really well-spoken. He's really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot his name though. Ethan, uh, no, it's not, it begins with E, doesn't it? It's not Ethan, it's. I, I was going to say Lucas as well, but it's not Lucas either. But yeah, I'm giving shout out to everybody on the flipping channel here. Um, Disc Junkie, one of the first YouTubers I watched, he was the biggest Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection ever. Oh yeah, Adam with the Woo went to all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre things. Daily Woo, he knows Cool Dude as well. There you go. Uh, is there anything coming to Disney Plus with Star that you're looking forward to watching? This is a question. I don't know the answer to this. Is Disney Plus Star going to be part of Disney Plus or will it be a separate app or is it a different kind of button you press to go into it? Don't know. I th I think it's just going to be part of it. You know, like you get the Star Wars at the top, the Disney, the Pixar. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just going to have a Star option. 
That's what okay. I'm thinking. And is that already? Do you have to pay extra for that? Is there going to be part of the subscription? I hope not. Well, no. The price is going up for non-subscribers anyway next month, isn't it? It's going to be seven ninety nine instead of five ninety nine. No, my mate pays for mine because I give him all the stuff. It's a merry-go-round with all my stream and stuff. Merry-go-round. Uh, there you go. Simply for, for Mrs. Vengeance and Lady of Vengeance worth it. That was it. So simply, those are that one and Old Boy the trilogies. Um, so there's no more questions. I'm actually up to date with all the questions. So what I'm going to do here is I've got a little... This is how prepared I am. I'm a little book. I've got shout-outs here. So apologies. Now, now everybody watching this is clearly going to be subscribed to my channel. I was going to be all you. You've got shit, Lord. Let's not talk you. And then, and then, um, <laughs> Peter's channel. I need all so the subscribers I, I can get. I know. Oh, here we go. He's put here, um, oh, all part of the same app. Um, it's 59.99 until 23 for new subscribers. There we go. Is uh, I'm going to give some shout outs. So if you're watching this, I need you all, if you'd like to, I'm not telling you to, 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 um, subscribe to Outfit, Film Flick, Movie Bug. Movie Worm, Jake Blower, Robert Fett's Bounty, Kermit's Ghost, Jamie Powell, uh, For the Love of Movies, Mondo Chalovec, Euphoria Pictures, Jason Brett, The Filmmaker, Horan Todd, Corleone 9, and The Blu-ray and DVD Collector. A bit poorly, obviously. No, don't worry about me. I don't need subscribers. <laughs> yes, you do. Don't subscribe to that lot. Yeah, well. So, yeah, I am... Um, I always thought, and I could be wrong here, that because obviously you've got so many subscribers and so many followers, that that kind of puts you on this kind of mantle. So people like myself with like 200 subscribers and, and people with just over 500 kind of looks is, looks looks at us, looks down on us. But it's not the case because it's not at all. I don't know why why I had that I idea. Was but... on, I was on 200 subscribers when I started doing the um, the Blu-ray hunting. And it just goes up and up and up. Yeah, because it's in a couple of you know in a couple of years' time, what will you be on? You'll be in the uh, thousands. To, to, You'll be on Prozac. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, I'll probably be on say, the streets I, if I keep buying stuff. I'm not, uh, I'm, and I'm I'm not going to I'm not saying this as a bad thing, but look at Blu-ray and DVD collector William. You know he puts out quality stuff. He doesn't get a lot of views compared with like one of my Blu-ray hunts. But he's on about seven and a half thousand subscribers. So that mofo knows his shit, though. He does. Yeah, he loves his really stuff, does. doesn't he? I oh, think yeah, the more subscribers I've got, is amazing. And like you say, you get the monetization comes in and all that, and that could pay for my blurries. I think that that would make the wife a lot happier because in the evening I could be doing this. She doesn't have to see me, and the blurries are popping the post are already people. So that with could the, be with the blue ray like what we do you know we're never going to be on the high amount of money like, like some of these uh some of these uh youtubers do you know like casey neistat earns about 50 grand a month but um i think even like uh cool duda who's on about ninety thousand, he probably only gets about 400 500 dollars a month i mean you know so we're not going movie... to get a massive amount mm -hmm. There's that movie one and the other guy who, who's really flipping annoying. Um, it's cool almost dude, like cool dude, yeah, yeah. Is that him? Is it? Where he wears his hair back to front, he's whatever. Yeah. It's almost like yeah. they started their Blu-ray collection like thirty stone, and then they've got the more the more subscribers they've got, the more weight they've lost. So I'm, I'm going to try and take influence from that. So by the time I get to one thousand <laughs> subscribers, some of us do. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> no, I've been I've, I've watched in my sickness for years. What's yeah, the I, I, I still watch yeah. it now. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I'm a patron, so you see my name in his credits. <laughs> welcome. That's for that. So I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah, I do. <laughs> he gets a dollar out of me. Cinem, <laughs> cinem, what's the cinematic? Cinema, cinema sickness. Cinema, oh, cin cinematic seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. Kermit's put here. Get me up to three million in ten subs. <laughs> The man who likes to hide his subs. Yeah. So does um. Double yeah, O six. What do you call him? So does um Brass Tax. He doesn't put his subs on there either, does he? No. It's not the be and end all for me subs. I mean, um, I've had a couple of people criticise me in emails that um I've talked to through Facebook and that. 
saying you seem to be going with the masses and you want nothing but subscribers and i'm like well i want subscribers because i like i like seeing other people's channels as well yeah you know i like seeing what other people have got some some people's collections you see on especially on your page paulie um, some are amazing. Jealousy ain't you know, bloody. I, I tell you, some of them like, oh shit, I'll shade off that. But when it, when, um, when it comes down to views, um, mm. it's more about views than it is about subscribers. You know, the more views you get, the more it shows you the more people are actually watching them rather than however many subscribers you've got. But yeah. I mean, if you want collections, if you want flipping stunning collections, what's this bloke called? The uh, Wilsonian Movie Museum. Is that the guy with the one in his beard? Oh, Wisconsin Movie Museum. Wils is it Wilsonian? Wilscon Wisconsin, uh, like the, the town in America. Yeah, I've seen this guy. He actually he, he he's put his collection he's collecting under a business name. Yeah, yes. and he, he and he's like charitified it as a museum, so he gets his tax back on everything he fucking buys. And he buys like. You know, blue fans times ten. You know, yeah. just on one video. Got yeah, and he, make, he makes it all, all over the world. There yeah, is a guy who gets more tax back. There's a guy who does his big. He's got a big, massive collection in his basement with all like the Dominator arms and the iRobot heads. But he, it's in America. But he's English. But I forgot the name. Is that the guy you're on about? It might be. Yeah. Is that the one that um, he has them all mixed? He has DVDs and everything, but at the end he's got like an alien head and a predator head. Yes. And yes. Lots of stuff up the top. Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Hiya. Hello, darling. Oh, here we go. Live. <laughs> You're live on oh, YouTube. Good. Say hello. Say hello. Hi, everybody. Did you hear that? Hello. Yeah. Oh, it's dinner time, apparently. Oh, does that mean we'll have to go? Okay. Uh, all right, babe. Bye. <laughs> Brilliant. So, um, I guess that because of that, then we'll have to finish the stream because somebody's been told, under the thumb, um, that, that he has to leave the channel. Happy life. Happy. <laughs> exactly. So, anyway, we've been on I mean, two hours, seven minutes, so um, we may as well wrap it up. Uh, so, Paul, thanks for coming along. Oh, thank uh, you, Paul, so much. Pleasure. If, yeah, well, even though I've had technical difficulties. At the... <laughs> Why is nobody shouting for me? The wife's downstairs, doesn't give a shit. You two have got people asking after you. My dad's shouting to remind me to take my warfarin tablets because <laughs> I forgot <laughs> on my birthday to take them. I was supposed to take one four hours ago, so I'm, I'm being <laughs> a naughty boy and all. Right, I want to go downstairs and get some lager since the kids aren't here. So... Right, right, so thank you very much. If you want to invite me onto your channel or me or Pete or whatever, thanks very much. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Will you answer my? Oh, what? Oh, what's this here? Will you answer my question? What was his question? The question is, uh, uh, got my first ever indicator title two days ago. Devil in the blue dress. Have you guys seen it? And how many indicator titles do you have in your collection? I don't have any indicator titles in my collection, and I have not seen Denzel's uh, Devil in the Blue Dress. No, I haven't seen it. I'm aware of it, but seen it. But he can, Denzel can do no no wrong, in my opinion. The only indicators I've got are on my car. <laughs> boom boom! I've got them on my wheelchair, but they're they're not actually hooked up to anything. Great. <laughs> right. Anyway, right. We'll wrap it up. So thank you very much for everybody who's watched. Uh, appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe to Pete's channel. Oh, sorry, Pete's channel and to Big Paulie's channel down here. Um, if you like this live chat, I'm going to be doing another one up here. Yeah, third rebrand yeah, yeah, yeah. we're, I'll, I'll we're back working. on sunday with jamie powell at 8 30 so tune in for that so i'm up for seeing jamie and obviously uh paulie might be on back on again if he's if he uh behaves himself um other than that i'm gonna end it and yeah, say, um, big, big, big paulie wants to put himself back in the gutter he'll come again right yeah <laughs> come down with the minions yeah oh jesus i'm just thinking that's gonna be a riot with jamie the bald headed yeah. chap from Bournemouth. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be funny. But then, anyway, thanks because for we can have... me on, lads. Yeah, that's Thank fine. You. So, what I'll do is, I should like, anyway, so thanks so much, everybody. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take Bye. care, guys. Bye. Bye.